What's up guys, Chris Tips one How's everyone doing? Welcome to Live Vibe 77. We survived another week of the Live Vibe. I hope everyone is having a great Friday today. I like these, okay. Fridays, I think are gonna be experimental. Cause we talked about this at the end of yesterday's Live Vibe. Okay, let's just, let's do something different. Let's search for the world's craziest creatures. And I got a few down here and I'm hoping you guys would suggest some. I know yesterday we were talking about poisonous stuff, but any animals that you want me to look up today, we're going to do some learning, man. We're going to have some fun. We're going to vibe it out. We'll vibe it out for a good hour, hour and a half. Then we got to go for our record, right? Deal or no deal. Then after deal or no deal, we are going to do Live Viber Spotlight where you guys DM me photos, whatever you guys want to share. And I share it out to everyone on here on the live. Other than that, guys, let's freaking rock. Let's go down here already, man. Um, there we go. What's up, Zach? How you doing, man? Oh, shit. Hold on. Where's my little... Where's my little camp cam? There's my little camp cam. <laughs> What's up, Green? How you doing, Justin? Hey, Bay. How you doing, Bay? Farquad, Zach. You guys are awesome, dude. You guys ready to vibe out? All right, so Sasquatch is already has a cool... I don't know what the hell that shit is, dude. But, guys, I am automatically at the bottom of the list. At, at the comments. So, we're going to go ahead and jump to it. This right here. I was going to ask you guys. You guys know what this is? But, obviously, well, you can see. This is the goblin shark, dude. Look at this shit. Look at this freaking, look how, uh, for, it's freaking, it's Avatar shit, dude. This shit. When I saw it, dude, like, this is the stuff of nightmares, dude. Now, these things are apparently millions of years old, and they live deep down, deep down in the ocean. And usually Chinese fishermen catch them in, in nets and stuff like that. Like, people don't normally, you know, fish this shit. Have you guys seen anything like this before? Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> oh, Red Rum, what's up? That looks like my ex. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Didn't Raymond said that some scorpion look, looked like his ex too? Well, that's a good thing she's your ex, buddy. Thank you for the super chat, Red Rum. Thank you very much, brother. But, I mean, that's pretty ugly, dude. That looks like almost like... Oh, I don't know. It's strange. The teeth are very spread out in this one. Like, I don't know, will a bite really get you? With, I mean, these things go about 10 feet long, guys. They, they, they get about 10 feet long. And apparently, their snout gets shorter as they get older. But yes. What's good, Jaden? We chilling, dude. We are chilling. What's up, Dennis? Oh, let me get to some comments here. Let me just get down to some comments. Green's vibing, hell yes. Oh, another super chat. Sir, from Logan, of course. Um, sir, real quick, will you be taking a three-day weekend or reviving Monday? Totally cool, either way. No, I can't go three days without the live vibe. That's right, what is it, President's Day Monday? No, dude, no, we're fucking vibing, dude. I'm not taking any, you guys, can t you guys don't have to show up Monday. I'm going to be here on Monday for those who want to enjoy the live vibe. But, uh, good question, Logan. Good question. I appreciate you, bro. I'm vibing, dude. I'm here. I'm working. I, dude, I ain't gonna lie, dude. Weekends are, weekends are very important. It's my self-care. You guys know what I do on, on, on the weekends. But, I need to miss the live vibe. I, every Monday, it's just like, ah! And I do. Saturday nights, I'm just like, because I always work, I'm working on the live vibe every day, guys. Every day, I'm working on the live vibe, searching, blah, 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 blah. But weekend sucks, man. <laughs> it sucks. But I do need to take a, a seat back and reflect on the live vibe as a whole and see, you know, see what kind of uh, information pops in my head. You know what I mean? And meditate on it. But yeah, I'll be here on, on Monday, brother. I'll be here on Monday. But dude, what the hell? Look at these teeth, dude. What? What? Oh shit! <laughs> he likes listening to Michael Jackson. 
Thank you, Logan. Oh, hell yeah, vibing on a Monday. Yeah, dude, for sure, man. I'll be here, man. I'll be here. And we're gonna, we're either gonna break our record tonight or it's on Monday. Honestly, I honestly really do think that we're gonna break our record very soon. Max Papa John, what up, Chris? What up, Papa John? You're a Papa John fan, dude? I'm more of a Pizza Hut, but welcome back, brother. <laughs> Let's see. I, I need to highlight this one. It's Pickle777. So happy I'm finally make one of these. Stepped away from your channel for a bit, but glad to see it's striving. Always been a fan of your CD1. It's Pickle. First off, beautiful channel name. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate that, dude. Um, we're doing something a little different. We're not really talking about dip today. Unless, what type of one dipping, man? Let, me, let us know. We're doing something new here, bro. We're searching up some creepy crawlers and crazy shit. Bone that like button hard. Absolutely. Thank you, Justin. You guys are vibing with us tonight. Drop a like. Drop a like. Fridays are are, are, are good to try new things, guys. Um, usually people are out partying, getting wasted. The, um, the turnout isn't as big. So today, it's going to be more personal. It's going to be way more personal. I'll be here Monday. Hell yes, Elena. Hell yes. Brandon, I'm a little late, but CD1, hope you like the pics I sent. Atta boy, Brandon. I'm going to check. I haven't checked my DMs today. But I'll get to it once we go into a live hour spotlight, dude. All right, but let me take a screenshot. All right, so let me see if there's any other cool pictures of this. Shit, what was it called again? Goblin shark. Goblin shark, yes. That's just a little baby one. That's a baby one, dude. What the hell is that? Bro. This is wild, dude. This is wild. All right, so we got just of it. We got a goblin shark down in here. And I'm going to write all these names down because I got to put them into chapters once I'm done with the live bug. So goblin shark. Next, it's going to be... What did Sasquatch say? Squatch. Okay, there it is. He told me to look up. You guys, let me know what I should look up. Any cool creatures or anything like that? It doesn't have to be a rare. But anything that you're interested in, that you think it's just crazy shit, let me know. I will search it. So, what did... Shit, I just missed him. Is that a... That sounds like a spider name. Atre... What? Atreit... Och... Moana... Oh, God. It's a penis. <laughs> what is this? Dude? It's so girthy. What? <laughs> what the hell is this? I spelled it wrong first off. <laughs> Freaking Sasquatch, dude. This does look like from the movie Alien. What? What? Where's the eyes? And how big are these suckers, dude? That's, it really does look like a worm, but... What is that? I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> Penis snake? <laughs> it's so ugly! It looks like stuffed sausage, dude. It looks like a stuffed sausage. <laughs> What's up, Bofin, Farquad? What's up, Franklin? How you doing, dude? Welcome. It's Pickle. Hell yes, dude. Okay, let me write this down so we don't forget. This is ridiculous, dude. Here, what was this? A-T-R-E-T-O-C-H-O-N-A. -E -E Bro. I, what? I gotta learn about this. Hold up, guys. How big is a... Uh... While many headlines have been calling this a discovery of a new species, we've known about the incredibly rare, whatever you call it, since it was first described by an American herp herpetologist Edward Harrison Taylor in 1968. Oh, main organist. They eat small fish, worms, and aquatic invertebrates. So I'm assuming these suckers go in the water. Okay. Interesting. All right. Who's next? 
Bowfin. Farquaad says Bowfin. Oh, damn. That just looks cool. Well, it looks like people catch them, so they're not really rare, right? Those look interesting, though. Damn, look at that sucker, dude. You guys ever caught one of these? Have you guys ever caught one of these? Did you eat these? Bofin, Illinois. Yes. <laughs> Almost looks like a catfish. Wait, is that a catfish? No, that's a bofin. They have the little uh, boogers. <laughs> they have the little boogers like the freaking catfish do. Dude, these things get big. Cut bait over live bait. I spot. Good one. What, 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 what was the other one, uh, Farquad? It will be. And I'm checking. And I can't wait, Elena. I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, good for you, It's Pickle. Good for you, brother. You don't got it, bro? No, it's good. That's good. Green's dipping that rogue honey. Hell yes, dude. Those are scary. What was your other one, Farquaad? Hey, what's up, Ninja Bear? Naked mole rat, Elena. I think I've... Oh. <laughs> Bro, we are on Google. I hope he doesn't search anything like... Naked mole rat is just disgusting, dude. What was the other one? Bofin, Bofin. I gotta write these down. Oh, God. Dude. It's rats, dude. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we need that sucker vibing at the kitty table, dude. That is disgusting, dude. We should place a little bastard on top of the freaking mayo jar. <laughs> Star Mosed Mole. Hold on, let me see let me see these other ones, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, how does that look? How does that not, not look like a flaccid, you know what? Oh, this one's about to freaking rush the freaking quarterback, dude. Look at that, dude. <laughs> These are so disgusting, dude. I'm sorry, guys. I hate rats, rodents, all that shit, dude. I, I, if I, I would run so fast away from these, dude. All right, what was the other one? Farquad. Star nose mole. Okay. Star nosed mole. Is that the butthole? What is that? That's the face? What? No. Have you guys seen anything like this shit? What is that? What is that? Is that Darcy's D? <laughs> yeah, with the two fangs. With the two fangs. <laughs> oh, that's... Dark Hills, I know you've probably seen some crazy shit, dude. So let me know. Help out the live by with some searching for some cool shit. But let's go ahead and look that one up. But hold on. Let's see. This one is a star-nosed mole. Star-nosed mole. Interesting. I'm writing all these down because I really want to learn about, you know, where the... Oh, so this one has his eyes closed. This is what they... do. look at their hands, bro. Yo. If I saw that out on a, in a hike here in Florida, I'd... I'd... <laughs> what the... F I wouldn't know what to do. What is this? That looks so weird. What? No way, dude. Alright, that's enough weirdness for that one. Star Nose Mole, guys. Alright. Dark Hills. Maned Wolf. Maned. Oh, what? First off, look at the hair on that. It's long. Look at the 
the legs, dude. It's so tiny. It's tiny. Wolves are thick, suckers, dude. Wolves are thick. And yes, I meant girth certificate. <laughs> A bowfish is a prehistoric fish. Right on. Franklin, I'm going to take a screenshot of this, dude. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. We got that one. Please look up prana fish. Oh, read pranas. Everyone's know what a prana fish looks like, but I'll screenshot that. We can look that up. Check out Wu Wahoo Fish or Mud Skipper. I'll screenshot that one. JD, Spotted Lanternfly. Ooh, that's a good one. Screenshot that one. What the hell? I'm getting a countdown saying welcome to the live vibe. Yeah, dude. That's usually what happens when you when you come in within the first three minutes. It's it's for people to wait to come in, settle in, say hi and all that shit. And plus, that's the time where I'm like uploading the Instagram story and highlighting some comments now. <laughs> Asia, what the hell is that? Hold on. All right, I got plenty of screenshots here. Let me, uh, I want to see more pictures of this damn thing. It's like a fox mixed with a freaking wolf or something. Look at them ears. They look strange. South American. South America, huh? Uh-oh, uh-oh. They look like... Oh, it looks like they're wearing stilts, right? Like, that shit's crazy looking. Good one, Dark Hills. Good one. Maned Wolf, writing that down. Gnarly, dude. Alright, let's get to some of these screenshots here. Please look up Piranha Fish. See, let me go back up to you see if I can find your highlighted stuff. Hey, what's up, Renee? Renee's here. He's vibing, dude. What's up, Sean? Welcome back, brother. Proboscis. Yes, we're going to show that, dude. We're going to show that. Nancy wants to look at piranha fish. We can look really quickly at that. That's not really rare, NC, but. Yeah, these things just look wild as shit, dude. And they're not that big, dude. These piranhas aren't that big. No thanks. Oh, dude. They look like evil little shits, don't they? I wouldn't. Yeah, this is Photoshop. That's got to be Photoshop. Tell me that's Photoshop, guys. I, that ain't that ain't real, right? That's Photoshop. That is Photoshop. Oh, this dude. This dude is crazy, dude. I've seen a lot of his episodes. Catching weird ass freaking fish, monsters. All right, piranha fish. Wahoo fish. A wahoo? I've seen wahoo. I don't know what a mud skipper is though. Mud skipper. You bastards better not tell me. This is live, okay? I don't want you naming like a freaking porn star or some shit and I Google image it and live I get shut down. <laughs> this is a mud skipper. I've never seen this. What the hell is this, dude? What? Oh, that's a figure. What? <laughs> what? What is that, dude? <laughs> what did you think of the girthy ping fish? Sasquatch, that was disgusting, bro. That was disgusting, dude. Yo, they're Joel Stinger, what's going on? <laughs> I've never seen these in real life, dude, or ever seen a picture of this. I don't even know what a mudfish does, dude. Oh, damn. Okay, never mind. Those are pretty big, dude. Thought they were like little pieces of shrimp or some shit. 
Oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> Mudfish. They're so tiny. <laughs> What did you, was it uh, JD? Spotted lantern fly. Oh, flies. This is gonna be easy. Not easy, this is gonna be weird, I know. Whoa. Whoa. What? Is it a, is it a part of the moth? Is it a moth? It looks like a moth. JD go. Spotted lantern fly. JD, how in the hell do you know about this shit, dude? You little furry ass. Oh, damn. Tiny. Well, that one he has in his hand. That's a beautiful looking fly I guess I guess it's not considered a moth it looks like a freaking moth oh hello oh I just ugh. all right thank you JD <laughs> Adrian says kayak man can where's Adrian on here I need to spot him Kayak man can. Oh, that's a dip, Adrian. You're talking about the kayak tub? Yeah, we're not doing that right now, dude. <laughs> What's up, Quinoa Sauce? He's on. Oh, that's right. I am streaming on Twitch tonight. I am streaming on Twitch. What's up, Quinoa? <laughs> They came to PA on a shipment from Asia and have spread like crazy. They are dangerous to crops and have nothing that and have nothing that kills them yet other than humans. Dude, that's that's not good. Apparently that's how like anacondas people started bringing these iguanas and shit from like South America to Florida and like anacondas and rapid as shit, dude. What's up, Adam B? How you doing? Good topic, CD. Hell yes. Hell yes. Dark Hills, Northern Hairy Nosed Wombat. I hate typing on an iPad keyboard. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that actually looks kind of cute, bro. It looks like a guinea pig or some sh Dude, he's vibing. He's vibing. Look at this one right here. He's like, what's up? What's up, Dark Hills? <laughs> Is it one of the <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. That's too funny. So Wombat. Isn't that a part of like the koala family? Little bear family? Oh, look at that doggo. Why does it look like it has a pig snout? Like, look at this one. The nose look, they look flat, dude. Still me get off the sport, bro. Yeah, it was River Monster, Sean. Hell yes, dude. Franklin, barrel eye fish. All right, Franklin. I got you, Franklin. What? No way, bro. Is that transparent? Why does it look like a seal? Dude, you can see through their... No. No way, dude. Oh, it's the stuff of nightmares, though, dude. What, six inches in size? Those are the eyes. What? No. 
Where's my freaking arrow, dude? So these aren't the eyes. These are the eyes. Yo. So... Those aren't eyes, these are the eyes. That is freaking wild, dude. It looks sad. <laughs> Why does it look so sad? The barrel eye fish, also known as a spook fish, or the Macropena microstoma, is a deep sea fish that is unique and fascinating appearance. It has a cylindrical body that is covered in small scales and most distinctive features is its transparent fluid filled head that allows it to see above and below itself simultaneously. These eyes of the barrel fish are housed in large tubular structures that are pointed upward and its green lens allows to see the bioluminescent prey above. Bro, Franklin, I don't know how you found out about that one, but bitchin' dude. I want to see one like, not, oh, that just looks wild, bro. Gnarly, good one, dude, good one. Is that a hypnotoad? <laughs> Wait, is hypnotoad an actual one you want me to look up? I don't know what hypnotoad is. But I'm not going to search it, Logan. I don't know if you're freaking yanking my... Whatever that snake was called. <laughs> Gnooch. Did you say Gnooch? Gunch? Catchfish? <laughs> Do what the F, bro. What in the F? I don't know. I know you guys like catfish. I know you guys like catfish. And you guys grilled me when I say that catfish isn't good. Or that I heard that it was a disgusting fish to eat. But you guys like, no, you gotta fry it. Yeah, no thank you, dude. No thanks. I ain't touching this, dude. This guy's a... Look at his shirt. He's probably been bitten like a thousand times. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, Logan. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> the mud skipper looked like a hypno toad from Futurama. <laughs> We're gonna look it up. You send me a super chat, dude. I'm, I'm looking that up. <laughs> TCU. <laughs> That's fake, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody loves Hypno Toad. Why do I don't recall? I love Futurama. Futurama was a great show. But I don't recall the Hypno Toad. I think they re I think I think they brought it back too. I think they brought it back too. <laughs> Thank you, Logan. Catfish is good eating. Etsy. <laughs> you see? I know. I know. I now know. A rip Pima is a beautiful fish. Dude, I've never heard of any of these things you guys are telling me to search for. I'm learning a lot. I wouldn't say beautiful, dude. I wouldn't say beautiful, bro, but those colors are dope. It looks kind of like a, like a python head. Doesn't it look kind of python-y? <laughs> did I just say Python-y? I did. Oh, damn. Damn. Amazon, huh? Dude, look at this dude. Oh, dude. That's a lot of fish, dude. You know how many fish tacos you can make with that? It is a cool looking fish, though. I ain't gonna lie. You're right, Bassman. You, you are right. <laughs> Muddy Mud Skipper as on Ren and Stimpy. 
Muddy Mud Skipper as on Ren and I love Ren and Stimpy. But what is that? Muddy. Was there one? Oh yeah, Muddy Mud Skipper, Ren and Stimpy. What's this? Oh that was a Muddy Mud Skipper. <laughs> What was the guy, what was the superhero from uh, Ren and Snippy Elena? Powder Toast Man, I think it was Powder Toast Man. Thank you for the super chat, Elena. <laughs> I loved Ren and Snippy, dude. I think it was the same makers as uh, Beavis and Butthead, right? Forgot what that dude was named. Forgot what that dude was named. Happy Friday, Elizabeth. We're doing a weird vibe tonight. I hope you're vibing this Friday night. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the super chat, Quinoa. CD1 is a legend, that is all. Hey man, I appreciate your super chat, dude. Thank you, thank you, Quinoa Sauce. And you made it to YouTube. You got out of Twitch. <laughs> I appreciate you, man, thank you. A Liger looks almost fake, too, but it does look real good. Only knows what real is. Oh, I think I missed the front end of that one. What's up, Trent, how you doing, man? <laughs> oh, you guys are freaking great. Hey, what's up, Steven? He's still vibing. He's vibing over at Twitch. What up, brother? Dumbo Octopus. All right. Oh, my God. That Muddy Mud Skipper. <laughs> I'm expecting... Like a massive freaking octopi, dude. This is cute as shit, though. That's called a Dumbo octopus? Look at him. Is he dangerous? Is he dangerous? <laughs> Why does he have ears? Why does he have ears? That is great. Crazy. I want to that one's a high quality image Look at that That is so wild dude That is wild <laughs> Oh, I hope you're feeling better Brittany. I hope you're feeling better Flashlight fish I saw it at an aquarium once, LOL. Are you gonna try to get me to put flashlight? If it's not popping up as recommended, I ain't clicking on it. Flashlight, fish, all right. Flashlight fish pops up. I'm gonna hover above the, I'm gonna hover above the, the iPad button to cancel it, just in case. All right, we're good, we're, whoa. More bioluminescence. Flashlight or lantern eye fish. Let me look up like a lantern fly. And now this is another lantern. Dude, that looks bitchin', dude. Well, there's a whole school of them. Dude, how do you know? There's millions of different species of fish out there. How do you know that you can... You can eat it. Because isn't there some fish that are like, you eat it, you die? Like, isn't Sculpin one of those things? Sculpin? <laughs> Ren and Stimpy was Billy West. Billy West. It wasn't Judge. Mike Judge. It was Billy West did it? Thank you, Elena. Thank you. <laughs> Uh oh, another I gotta play it. I gotta play it. <laughs> another <laughs> super chat from Dark Hills. Hippo Skull and Jacob's Ram Skulls are rad. Jacob's Ram? What the hell is a Jacob's Ram? Jacob's Ram Skull. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, wires are four. What the hell? 
I want to see. I want to see. Four? How come I've never seen this shit before? How come I've never. Oh. Oh, God, you're one ugly son of a bitch. And that's a puzzle. Oh, that looks demonic, dude. It looks like the devil, bro. But that looks crazy, dude. That looks freaking nuts. They display, they look like, look like my visuals. They look like tentacles. Oh my God. Oh, that is gnarly, dude. That is gnarly. I want to see what they look, I want to see some pictures of them. What? How come I've never seen these before? Why? Looks like a sheep cow. They're so diverse too with their horns. They'll either flare straight up or the sides are all wonky and shit. I guess that's what makes them really cool though, man. It looks like a Demogorgon almost, man. Yo. Thanks for the super chat, Dark Hills, and what a freaking suggestion, dude. Oh, look at this dude. Dude. Look at that. Their eyes aren't, aren't even like serpents, right? Where they go to, or cats, right? Cats have the, the vertical eye slits, the pupils. And I think goats do too. But this ram, it's like horizontal. That looks freaking wild, dude. That looks freaking wild. Nutty. Charter grade. Yes. I know what those are. That's like. They talk about the Tower Gates during like. How species got into land or some shit. Charter grade are super. They're like microbial, right? I think they're microbial. Yeah. These things are like super tiny. And apparently like. Out of all the mass extinctions we have here on Earth, these these things last, bro. They're microscopic, see? <laughs> Dude, but they look funny, don't they? Little suckers. <laughs> Steve, do I still play War War Z? Not recently, buddy. Not recently, man. <laughs> this this is weird. Tune in at 10:30. Oh, King! You made it to Singapore. Nice, dude. 10.30 a.m.? Yeah, it's got to be a.m., right? Hey, man, bitching, though, dude. You're catching the live vibe. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. Hell yes, dude. What's scary? Yeah, the that ram, I think so, too, dude. The ram skulls are nice and scary at the same time. I love it. Yes. <laughs> King, you made it safe. Yay. Out of me. Yes, he did. And he called it. He says he might check in with him. With him. He might check in with us. And he did. That's awesome, King. You're awesome, dude. Yeah, I, dude. What was that? Like a freaking 15 hour flight? Hell no. Jason, how are we all doing tonight? We are vibing, dude. We're looking at some crazy ass animals, dude. That's what we're doing this Friday night. One of the most native fish in PA is a sturgeon. Yeah, the sturgeons are crazy, Adam. We looked at those the other day. Get it, dude. I think the DLC is becoming free on uh, that subscription program on uh, Xbox. So weird. I feel like a giant here among the locals. Bro, anywhere in Asia or Singapore, you're... I'm a, I'll look like a giant there at five foot seven. I guarantee you people are going to walk up to you and, and want to take pictures. <laughs> Go for eel. You got it, man. What is that? Bro, you guys are blowing my mind today, dude. I watch animal documentaries all the time. All every time there's someone on Netflix who I, I'm watching it, Planet Earth, anything. I've never seen shit like this that you guys are recommending me though. 
<laughs> hey guys! Hey! How's everyone doing? <laughs> Looking at animals around Chernobyl is is gotta be weird. I, do they really mutate? Do they really mutate? Let's see, what other, what other recommendations? Did we look up Silverfish from NC? I don't think we did. But this one's wild, though. Oh, it disconnects, huh? <laughs> Dude. Dude. It looks like a sperm cell. That looks wild, dude. That looks freaking wild. All right, what was it? Silverfish. That sounds familiar. Oh, what is it? A shrimp? How centipede? Silverfish. How is that considered a fish? It looks like it it's, has a vertebrae, or like not a vertebrae, but it looks like a, it looks like it should be a part of the grasshopper family or some shit. Why are they so tiny? That's so weird. You can't even eat that shit. Ugh, those antennas, dude. No thank you, man. Christmas tree warm. Got some bad news, fam. What, what's wrong, Brittany? Is there anything the live vibe can help you with? I hope it's not bad, bad. 21 hours. And you're a big dude, bro. I hope you didn't sit. Oh, man. I hope you had an aisle seat, bro. <laughs> I hope you had an aisle seat, at least. Or sat first class. <laughs> It's a larva? What are they and how to get rid of them? It looks like a freaking... God. Mm -mm. Alright, Christmas tree worm. And then we're going to look at that monkey that's in the thumbnail. I think it was called a Probo Proboascus Monk, probascus monkey or some shit. What? Is it coral? I know coral's like alive and shit, right? But Christmas tree warm. That does not look like a warm, dude. It looks like a. Well, they do look like little Christmas trees. They're all colorful and shit. But that's a warm. That's gonna. Wow. Dude, look at the colors in these. No way. Marine worm that lives in a tropical coral reef around the world. What does a Christmas tree worm eat? Christmas tree worms are filter feeders. The food consists of zooplankton, phytoplankton, and distress particles interesting dude that one was good the bass man megalodon what megalodon isn't that like a like a big ass freaking shark isn't that like a like a power ranger thing <laughs> yeah i think it was a prehistoric sh oh Oh, look at that freaking tooth. Yeah. That's your standard probably great white right there next to a Megalodon. That would scare the living. That's the size of a freaking yacht, dude. Oh, no, Brittany. No. Is it... What go-around is it, Brittany? The more times you've gotten, the, the better it's going to be. The less severe it's gonna be. But that's not good. That's not good. Brittany, no. <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, and you're one year. You gotta, you gotta just bunker down. You gotta bunker down, Brittany. Drink plenty of liquids. I've got it once, and it was like one and a half days for me, and I didn't feel bad at all. I just lost my taste, but hopefully your side effects aren't, um, you know, bad. And I hope your two-year-old's okay. It's a two-year-old you got to be strong for. Jaden Dan Britton. <laughs> What's up, Craig? How you doing, dude? Green, you're in our prayers. The gym in my hotel does not even have free weights. What they have, bro? I don't think people in Singapore lift. <laughs> hey, man, do body exercises, bro. Push-ups. <laughs> oh no, Brittany. I hope you guys don't get too sick. Yeah, I know. Sami, my one. Oh, and your one-year-old? Oh no. No, 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 no. It is a great white on steroids, dude. Absolutely. Wally, what's up, Wally? How you doing, man? What's up, Chris? I just ordered 12 more cans of Outlaw Dip. Guess I can say it grew on me. And my pops, LOL. He's been dipping 30 years, and he loved it. Awesome, Wally. Hell yes, dude. That's freaking bitching, dude. You ordered 12 cans of... What, what flavors did you get, man? I'm curious. There's still a lot of Outlaw I haven't tried. Root beer? Um, blueberry? I gotta start doing those. I really wanna do those. Look up, uh, my bad, Jaden. I remember you running that earlier. Yeah, if, if I'm not searching your guys', keep re-entering in chat. Legless, what is it? It's probably gonna look like a naked mole rat, bro. Oh, that's not a lizard. I guess it is a lizard. What is going on here? They look like those dinosaurs, the long-necked dinosaurs. What were they called? They look like those long-necked dinosaurs. The vegetarian dinosaurs. That looks that looks like a snake, dude. That's a lizard? Oh, that is bitching. Look at that. It's the color of my coyote skull that Dark Hills did me. <laughs> Gold and blue, hell yes. That looks like a worm, dude. Whoa, that eyes looks creepy, dude. What if you guys wake up one night and you just see a little bastard staring at your ass, dude? <laughs> After watching both Meg movies, I wonder if one one could still by some slim chance possibly exist. How was the second one, dude? I watched like the first 10 minutes. I'm like, yeah, I'm not feeling this, dude. And I like Jason Statham. In the Mariana Trench. I'd hate to come up with, yeah. No shit. <laughs> Who would love to see one when they're out in the ocean? The Liger car is crazy. I never hear of them until a day ago. Liger car? Better propped up. Liger car? Liger car isn't popping up, dude. It's giving me Liger cartoon and then Liger car, but... Oh, let me hover over the freaking... The iPad button, just in case. Sorry, guys. I trust you, but... Okay, that's a car. <laughs> that's a... That's not an animal. <laughs> that's a Liger car right there, bro. I don't know if that's an animal. Franklin's giving us good ones. Sea Angel. Liger Cat. Oh, damn. Yeah, bitchin', dude. That looks cool. That looks cool. Again, like these transparents, dude. Angel of Death. Ooh, look at, dude, that is, that's beautiful, man. I love colors, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Liger cat, I meant. Oh, that's an... <laughs> Wasn't that a thing from Napoleon Dynamite? A Liger? I thought that was fake. Bro, how massive are these suckers? They have stripes though. Like that's a lion. Liger facts. Big cat rescue. <laughs> dude. That will eat you up for freaking breakfast, dude. Cubs are always cute as hell. Cubs are cute as hell. Yeah, Brad. Likewise, Brad. That's what I'm dipping right now, dude. Rogue Spearmint. My rotation is Rogue Spearmint for tonight, Cougar, Long Cut, and Outlaw Watermelon. All right, guys. Let's search for a couple more, and then we got Deal or No Deal. Push-ups for the win. Pull-ups for the win. Oh, absolutely, dude. Prayers for Britt and her baby, of course, Brandon. Not a boy, man. Hey CD, do you have ads enabled on your lives? Tonight I do, because there's no dip on the title, so I can actually put ads on it. Tonight I, I am monetizing this live. But for all the dip stuff, no, no. Root beer is awesome, that's what I've heard, dude. That's what I've heard, but I'm, Elena really talks about that blueberry, and I really gotta try that blueberry. What's up, Tyler? Squirrel Nuggy? <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Kid, just lift people, dude. <laughs> just get a couple Singaporeans, bro. Curl them suckers, dude. We got six cans of... Oh, dude, that wintergreen is tits money, dude. And six cans of mint. First order, I got a bunch of flavors, but me and him, I've always been the wintergreen and mint guys. Okay. Yeah, I was surprised. You know, most people order a, a variety but you already tried them all dude the wintergreen is bitching dude i really like the wintergreen mint i've never tried i've never tried his mint i gotta try it slowly but surely he's doing it all of his staples are going to be available in nick safe and in pouch form Oop, there it is see <laughs> hell yes elena Yep, Brachiosaurus. Bachlosaurus, yeah. Those two, the snake thing we just looked up. Yep. Blueberry's one of Tyler's favorites. Chris, I have a cat. I always wakes up to a little bastard staring at me because he wants breakfast. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> cats are, dude, cats... Cats will just stare at you, huh? Cats will just stare at the shit out of you, man. Shoe bill. Oh, those are crazy. Those look like dinosaurs, dude. I've seen these things. They're like gray with those big beaks. Shoe bill stork. These are crazy looking. And the way they sound, dude, are nuts. This is a boss right here, though. This dude don't F around, dude. Look at that. When you get a shot front facing, there we go, right there. Look how dangerous. Dude, you wake up, Logan. You'd be lucky to be staring at your kitty cat. You wake up and you see this little sucker, dude. Oh, hell no, bro. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Skinwalker. <laughs> Me too, Elena. I'm starving. <laughs> What's up, Jay, man? You made it. Hell yes, dude. What's up, brother? You're going free diving tomorrow with a few SOCOM guys. And I'm looking forward to some fresh, dude. You're going to probably get the best freaking seafood there. And I'm pretty sure the dollar goes a long way in Singapore, dude. I don't know what's the currency they use over there, but hell yeah. Brittany says, thanks to everyone. Love y'all. We all love you, Brittany. We all love you. And we hope you feel better. We hope you feel better. 
Chris, what's your top two favorite colors? Um, though, as a child, red. Red has always been my favorite color. But recently, dude, I've been liking two colors. And it's these two colors. This color blue and this color orange. Um, I love that combo. And I saw some of those bioluminescent fish that had that nice blue color with orange. I think that's such a beautiful color combo. But red's dope, dude. Red. Roadrunners far quad. <laughs> I've seen Roadrunners. I used to almost run them over, literally, in California. They would run across, driving along the hillside. Those look, dude, they're super tiny too, bro. They're like, here's my desk. They're like this tall. Super short. It's going to give me a bunch. Yeah. They're tiny, dude. They're cool looking though. Roadrunners are cool looking. <laughs> Bad hair day, huh? Bad hair day, man. <laughs> Love you, Brittany. You get well soon to you both. Hell yes. No worries, P.O.B. You're, you're vibing, dude. Tiger King had ligers? No way. <laughs> they are real. But also, they cannot reproduce and are generic, genetic mutation. Oh, crap. I don't know what animal we were looking at previously to this. But whatever animal that was, I think that's what King was, was uh, referring to. How do you like black buffalo wintergreen, dude? Do you like it? Is it good? And see rocker. Let me go. Zebra. We see a zebra rocker. Oh, why did I hear zebra walker? Why am I typing zebra walker? See zebra. Hold on. Let me go to zombie turkey fish first. Oh, that's not even popping up, dude. Zombie turkey fish. Look at that. I'm not looking that up. There's not... Actually, I'm gonna look it up. But I'm gonna... I don't even think that's a real thing, dude. But prove me wrong, man. Prove me wrong. Let me uh, search this non-live. Yeah, it's, it's nothing, dude. Zombie turkey fishes don't exist, NC. <laughs> Sea zebra. It's gonna be some sort of striped fish, isn't it? Sea zebra. Oh, that is cool. Look. <laughs> okay, this is Photoshop. That's hilarious, though. That is freaking hilarious. But a sea. Bro, that's so weird. Seahorses are just weird in general, man. They just, they swim upright, right? They, the way they give birth. <laughs> Outlaw blueberry is amazing, yes. Yes, I have, of course I have, dude. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of mint, dude. I, I prefer Stoker's mint if I had to pick a mint. What's up, Joey? On my first weed break in about 11 years, almost like two weeks, not quitting forever. Just want to be able to truly enjoy it again. Tyler, so you quit weed? You're on, you're on two weeks. There you go. <laughs> what movie is he watching, Elizabeth? <laughs> Bro, P.O.B., you work on a haunted house, dude? Gnarly, dude. That don't freak you out, bro? That would freak me out. 
Attaboy blockchain. Thank you for stopping by, dude. Plow that snow, dude. Get her done. Born in 1500. Got clogs for a mouth. <laughs> right on. I don't know that. I don't know what you mean by that, dude. But welcome to the live vibe. They make a machine gun sound ahead of those. Oh, those. That. That big build stork thingy. Yeah. <laughs> watch out dude watch out I don't think he's gonna reach for your beard bro <laughs> he says hee hee <laughs> it's alright I can buy it from AMPM gas station right on dude <laughs> You got it, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Where are you at? There you are. For Robert. <laughs> I'll play another time. I'll play another time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're done with that. Let's get her going. Let's play deal or no deal. We're an hour in. So, you guys know the freaking rules. This is going to be interesting, dude. This is going to be interesting because back to back. Stop it. Stop it, Justin. Stop. <laughs> Bornin. I meant that bird with the huge beak. It looked like a... Oh, it looked like wooden clogs. Yes, yes. Yes, Bornin. Absolutely, dude. I'm taking out this dip and I'm actually going to put a pouch of Outlaw Wintergreen. If you guys ever reorder Outlaw or are curious about purchasing Outlaw Dip, use my code VIBE10 for 10% off, guys. Save 10% on your order. He heard it. I'm scared to play. Oh, Liz. You're good. Brian. Already picking cases. Pick case 24 and keep it. Brandon, all right, we'll, we'll pick your case, dude. My little boot, let's, get, let's get her going, dude. Let's get this shit ready. All right. All right, record high, guys, is 224. Let's beat that shit tonight. It's Friday. We've broken some records on Fridays, dude. Our record low is $25, okay? So... We can beat that too. No, we can't. Let's not beat a record though. <laughs> the people who have been DQ'd so far, Adrian, Logan, Brittany, Trent, Brian, Stillman, Craig, Noah, Bassman, Jade, and NC, Ninja Bear, Dark Hills, Matt, Elizabeth, and Farquaad. All right. We're going to get her done. We're going to win big tonight, boys. I feel it deep down, man. We're picking case 24 to keep. This case is yours to keep unless you decide to sell it back to the banker. Round one, choose a case. All right, we got the case, we got the first one. Brian, starting off with you, buddy. 17, Brian. Do us good, Bray Bray. Oh. Scheisse. Not good, Brian. Not good, bro. That $300,000 case beats our record. But you're not DQ'd, my friend. You're not DQ'd. Um, Bassman, 13. Let's do this. Nice All right. Shot. Left side, guys. Left side. <laughs> Logan, let's see the redhead tonight. That's what we like to Bro, you're 19. I don't know what you guys are doing after deal or no deal, but keep doing it to her, bro. Keep giving her that Logan beef, dude. Liz, 22. Woo! Nice Liz! Gets the best case of the night so far. See, there's nothing to be scared about, scared about Liz. You're doing great. Excellent. Oh, P.O.B. P.O.B. Yes. Sasquatch, you got this, buddy. I'm, I'm pulling for you, dude. Good cases so far. 
Oh! Yes, yes! Dude, she's keep... Dude, she is solid, bro. That 19, she's a keeper. All right, I'm gonna deny this. 35 grand, though, it's not bad for the first one. There's 200,000 more, and we can beat our record, guys. Tennessee, let's go, 23. Oh, oh NC! NC! Not bad, NC. No one's been disqualified yet. Wally. All right, Wally. 21. Let's do this, baby. Wally, 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 Wally. Yeah! Oh, boy. I think it was Wally's first ever case. Hell yes, Wally. Good case, dude. Jaden. Okay. Now it's getting a little weird, bro. It's getting too good here. It's getting too good. Jaden, attaboy. Hit that like button for CD1. Show some love and subscribe. Attaboy. Thank you, Green. Like the video, guys. Green reminds me. Like the video if you have not. Let's do this, man. Eating? No, you're not eating the, the big table? No. <laughs> if you guys don't know, the kitty tables is when you get dis disqualified. Everyone right now... Oh, no, no, no. Everyone right now is chilling at the big table. We got strippers at the big table. We're eating good. We're dipping good. If you pick a high case, you get sent down to the kitty table where you have a jar of mayonnaise with some shit on the, under the table and dirty socks and shit and, and some nasty ass fermented seafood. You guys don't want to go there, okay? King, you're next, buddy. Four, let's do it. Out of boy. King. I don't think King's ever been to the kitty table. Renee has though. Renee has. All right, Renee, I'm with you on this one, buddy. Let's do this. Ray from Denmark. Excellent. Yes. Ten. Oh boys, are we gonna get the Millie? I feel it, baby. I feel it. Let's go. The offer is nice eighty-one thousand. As soon as we that threshold beats our record, you guys decide. You came here this is your game. Time for the next round. Adrian, here we go, baby. 26. That's what we like oh, Adrian. No, no, Adrian. You just picked the best case, buddy. Attaboy. One dollar. This is getting, I'm really getting nervous. Hell yeah, my outlaw dick came in early today. And I got in some peach. Ah, nice, Ninja Bear. The peach is my top three. It's top three for me, the peach. I love it. 15 for Craig. All right, Craig, be the case. Oh, 15 second, Craig. <laughs> Hell yes, best peach on the market. Farquad, AKA Alf, picking case nine. He's picking the blonde, the curly headed blonde. Oh, not bad, not bad, Farquad. 100 grand ain't bad, it ain't bad. Green with envy. Oh, seven's taken. Steelman seven's taken. We'll, we'll look it up after Adam. Have you guys ever heard of a uh, blobfish? Have you seen the blobfish? We didn't even look up that proboscis monkey. Well, we got time today. Um, Sean. I got Sean here with six. All right, Sean. Come on, baby. Excellent. Sean! Sean! Bro, look at all the cases we picked on the left, dude. Look at all that, bro. We are killing it. But I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm afraid with seeing beats here. He's got the redhead. You've been good though. All right, all right, all right. All right, seeing. All right, baby. Let's do this. Oh man, this is getting good. Oh, this is getting good. That's a the offer is $143,000, guys. We are. Woo wee! Less than, dude, 80 more grand? Look at. Three cases here, and look at all these, bro. We got these bangers of a case here. Breaker, record breaker, record breaker, record breaker, record breaker. This is bitchin'. So, guys, start pulling these and these. Don't, not touch these. Don't touch those. No, 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 no. 
No bueno. No deal. 143. Get out of town. Tyler, you're next with 11. The scroll nuggy himself. Can he do it? Can he do it? Nice one. He did it. He did it. He did it, baby. Brad. Brad's picking number one. All right, Brad. Oh, darn. No, Brad. No, Brad. I'm sorry, Brad. But you blew it. You blew it! Everyone, give Brad shit. You gotta give Brad shit. You're disqualified, Brad. You're now seated at the kitty table. Enjoy it, my friend. Enjoy the suck. Watch out for the shit balls on, on, on the ground and shit. And I hope you like Sestromi. Fermented fish, bro. All for you. That's all you get to eat. While all of us is eating steak dinners and shit. Pulled pork sammies, ribs, and we get to look at titties. Brad, Brad, Brad. You're on my list now. You're on my little blue book. Brad, Brad, Brad. We were doing so good, bro. We were doing so good, Brad. <laughs> Brad, you are the silliest of gooses. <laughs> no, you can have it back. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see, let's see. Brad, yeah, Brad's at the kitty table, dude. He's gonzo. Sorry, Brad. Sorry you gotta pull that case, dude. All right, I gotta pick people who haven't picked the first one yet. Elena, I gotta pick another one. Nine's taken. Brandon, you already picked. NC Rocker, you already picked. Blockchain, you're saying 12 is the 1 million. So we're not picking 12 or are you? Well, no, it's not the 1 million. 12 is not even on there. Dead. <laughs> I don't think Adam's picked a case yet. Adam, 18. Adam, there we go. I don't think Stillman, Stillman hasn't picked a case either. Stillman, I think 12 is taken, buddy. Come on, banker. You can do better than that. Oh, boys. All right. Wow. 169. It's going to be a no deal. But we still got that melee out there. And the you four and the 500. The we're, we're doing Time good. Denmark's your other home country. King? Nice. Steven. Steven over at Twitch wants to play along. Steven, you got case number three, buddy. Oh no! Oh there no! Steven! Case. You freaking Hufflepuff! Steven! Oh man, he gets a trifecta. Nathan needs to be called Stat. Nathan, call 911! Alright, guys, we're unfortunately. He blew you it too. Blew it! Steven! Take a seat at the pity table, my friend. You just screwed up the Live Vibe's $1 million case, bro. Live Vibe, give it to Steven. Probably because you were watching me on Twitch, bro. No, you're good, you're good. Uh, Steven, I hope... <laughs> oh, God. That was not good, Steven. I didn't... <laughs> 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 Don't do it. Don't do it. What the F, Steven? <laughs> Steven, that's what you get for vibing on Twitch. <laughs> he is disqualified. Steve, get your ass to the mayo table. Have a seat, Steven. Have a seat. And let me introduce you to Brad. Steven, Brad, Brad, Steven. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> Don't say sorry to me. You gotta say sorry to the whole life vibe, dude. Hufflepuff, no Stevie Key to table. Yeah, it's not me tonight. Ugh. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Steven, sit your ass at the kitty table and stuff that face over the sar sardines. You, you know what? <laughs> this is great. All right, you guys, you guys were good to Steven. You guys were good to Steven. You guys weren't too hard. You guys weren't too hard. Elena, come on, girl, you got this. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Elena! I'm sorry I have to do this to you. Come on, Banker. You better than that. 
Not Elena, guys. Not Elena. No. I'm sorry, Elena. I hope you like sardines. You're gonna have to say bye to all the beautiful women at the big table now, Elena. You're gonna have to say bye to them all. But Elena, if we can, we can still beat a record. Slim chance, but we can still beat it. And you can get to party back with the titty strippers again. <laughs> Let her have it, guys. Let her have it. She's the third DQ. And Elena, you are made it to my blue book. That sucks, man. I hate seeing the OGs go to the table. You guys, it's, it's, it's sad to say, but now our offer is $58,000. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, you're disqualified. Oh no, Elena. Oh no. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> no, Elena. Oh crap. Here, when did you take off, Justin? I just felt like running. <laughs> Nathan, call 911. Elena, no. Not on a Friday, you guys. Elena, Steven, and Brad. You guys gotta stay at the kitty table. The whole weekend. 48 hours on the kitty table. Not cool. Not cool. We're not taking this offer, guys. Now we're just 400k. Elena, of course we still love you. Oh no, Elena. <laughs> Steelman, five. Nice one. a boy, Steelman. I think we got the 400,000, bros. We're still vibing, dude. Nice 73,000. All right, this has to go to you guys, dude. I'm sorry. This is $75,000. Deal or no deal? The thing is, they're offering 75,000, but we, there's only one case that's above that offer. Everything else is below. So right now we have one in five, like five shot to beat our record. Hey, still a good chance. <laughs> we always love you, Elena. <laughs> Nothing but love for the kitty table fish eaters. <laughs> See it beats. <laughs> Wally, we got the 400 band. Believe it, baby. F to 75. All right, Wally. I like your enthusiasm. No, we got the <laughs> Do not say that, dude. Do not put that juju out there, dude. I do not put that juju out there. All right, let's see this, guys. Um, deal or no deal? That's all I need to know. Deal or no deal? Do we take the, the 73,000? I don't know, dude. I kind of want to see what we have. Yeah. I'm going to do no deal. I'm no do no deal. deal. Screw it. Time for the next round. <laughs> All right. Who hasn't picked? Shane. What's up, Shane? Welcome to the live vibe, brother. Shane Herndon. I think it's your first live vibe, dude. All right, Shane. Um, Whatever you do, don't pick the $400,000 case and we'll be groovy, dude. Shane's first case, I believe, ever. That's what Attaboy, doing. Shane! Yes, Shane. Great case. Great case, Shane. All right, guys. Our offer is going to go up here. That's a 95,000. Nice oh, 95,000. No, we got to keep going, dude. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This one's... <laughs> Be positive. No deal. No deal. Shove it up their booty. Damn. No deal. No deal, huh? We all love you, Elena. You know that. You know that. Sasquatch, no deal. 
God, I hope this isn't like delayed all the way. I hope you guys are saying no deal to this offer right here. The 95, but not the one previously. If so, this is going to be really... Well, I am streaming on Twitch, so I don't know if, if I'm streaming on two places simultaneously, if there's even more of a lag. I don't know. I'm back, no deal. Okay. Just because JD's back. CN beats, yeah. I think we're going to do that. No deal. You came here for the money. Time for the next round. Alright, 28 or 16. Who let me scroll up on the comments, see if anyone's picked those numbers. Sean did. Sean did. Sean picked 20. Is Sean in my list here? Alright. I'll pick Sean just because he has a bit DQ'd, so he's been playing pretty decent. Alright, Sean, let's do this, baby. No 400. Nice yes, 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 Sean. Good case, Betty. Good case. Hell yes. All right, guys. We, we got this, man. We got this now, dude. All right. That's Our offer nice is $117,000. Oh, I'm seeing you guys. Is, you guys are picking cases right now. Little delayed. Little delayed. That's fine. I'll wait. I'll wait. You guys, $117,000. And I say we do not take the deal. Why would we take the deal when we can break our record? We have a one in three shot right now of beating our record. But holy crap, bro. Really? We can still get back to back to back $25 cases? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. King saying no deal. I like that, King. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we're taking this deal. There's no way. We can't. We only take offers once it's beating our record at this point, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Let us know on Monday how the mayo and fermented fish tasted. <laughs> Go for the money, baby. No deal, Green. Green, you didn't pick a case. Yeah, you did. You, you picked the case this round, did you? No deal, guys. We're going big. We just turned down $117,000. Alright. I'm going to type it in the comments. 8 or 16. Again, this is where we tally it. We will we will uh, tally it up. We're going to tally it up. 8 or 16. This is gonna be good. Play some music higher while we wait to tally him up. I'm gonna throw in some long cut. Morning. Wow, look at you guys. What's that saying? Bird of a feather, flock together. Bird of the same feather, flock together. Oh, this music. This music is ready for the finale. hard morning bird of the same feathers sock together oh I love it bird of a feather sock together are we gonna sock tonight boys 
You guys all picked eight. We don't sock tonight. Today, we not like sock. Yes. Yes, guys. You guys picked the right one. You guys picked the good one, dude. We're going to beat our fucking record. Oh, God. All right. That's all right. Pretty nice Let's do this. Oh, unfortunately, unfortunately, this offer does not break our record. This offer is $184,000. And you guys know what we're doing here, right? It's about to go down. <laughs> we're gonna say. I hope so, Shane. I hope so, buddy. If you guys here vibing with us and haven't done so yet, do me a favor and like the video. Let's get those likes up, people. There's more people watching than there are likes, not Q. All right, we're going to see right now, guys. Oh, my God, you're right. No. How does that happen? How do we get to tie our record low for the third straight night. How is that even an option? <laughs> I want to briefly, Brad, Steven, and Elena, if we break our record, we have 50% chance. You guys are out of the kitty table and you'll be vibing at the big table where we're going to be partying all weekend long because that's what we do. That's what we do. Now, I believe this was Brandon's case. Brandon, are you still in here? I hope and pray my 24 cases. Here he is. I, we hope and pray for, we we're hoping praying the same shit, bro. We hope you didn't pick it. We hope you picked the 400,000. 184,000, say bye-bye. No deal. That's the spirit. Final decision. Which case has the higher dollar amount? Your original case. Stillman isn't even final, running. He's flying case. out of here. You guys ready for this? <laughs> no deal, CD. We got this. All right. All right, guys. We're picking case 24. Let's go. Okay. You're hanging on to your original case. Let's see what you got. Oh my god! No! Hufflepuff! No! No way, dude. No way, dude. Did that just happen? We got back to back to back record lows son of a hufflepuff we do suck no dude <laughs> logan logan come on man <laughs> it's a three-day weekend sean says <laughs> I'll be here Monday, folks. I'll be here Monday. You blew it! The live vibe as a whole gets disqualified. <laughs> Brandon! There you go, guys. Look it. He called it. He called it. Mick. Brandon did it. He effed us all. He effed us all. No, it's rigged. <laughs> Dude, three back to back to back record lows. This is like a record. This is a record beyond the record low. We got three in a row. No, Hufflepuff Dingledorf. <laughs> Brandon, we still love you, brother. It just, it just, yeah. How do we get that one three night in a row yeah i know that's that's it 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 makes no sense girl 
But again, we did win back to back one million dollar cases. So, yeah. <laughs> Brandon, you're good, bro. That boy, Joey. I told you that was a $25. <laughs> oh, shut up, Etsy. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Have you seen X? It's pretty crazy. No. What X? What? Twitter? It's called progress, best man. It's called progress. We will, Brandon. We will. No, I haven't seen it. It sounds... Is it rated? X rated? Love y'all too. I knew we should have picked Steven. <laughs> You're at the kitty table, buddy. You picked a horrible case. <laughs> uh, Sean was saying swap earlier. We don't swap. We actually keep, we we never swap. We always got to keep the case the first person pick, so we know who to blame. That guy. We blame that guy, Brandon. Oh, man, you're living the dream, King. Have a great time over there, brother. Dude, safe travels. Vibe out, brother. You're in Singapore. Live it up. <laughs> I was so close to enjoying the strippers. All now is mayo, fish, and socks. Yep, that's all you... And don't forget, don't forget the ship balls, bro. Now, if you guys don't know, this is our happy mascot, Millie. Camo. You can eat Sestroming and mayonnaise. Or you can eat the camo. Just don't touch Millie. And the score nuggies. No. No. Alright, guys. We are going to Live Viber Spotlight now. In order to do that, I've got to go down deep. Deep in that spaceship, baby. Deep. All right. I'm gonna move this over here. Take it easy, King. Yeah, it's weird, crazy old lady, and yes, there's some dirty parts like every. Ooh, I'm gonna have to watch that now. <laughs> No camo toe for me. <laughs> me and you, Brandon, we called it. Green says, be safe, King. Well, I got J-Man pulled up here, so actually, we're going to go to look at J-Man's photos. J-Man's been sending me some beautiful AI images that uh, I think you guys will enjoy. So we're doing Live Viber Spotlight. Uh, I'm checking your DMs now. Holy crap, that's a bunch of you guys. I gotta start learning how to check my shit first. Oh my God, Stillman. <laughs> oh my Lanta. All right, so where's the new ones? I love that old one. All right, so you guys knew about Stillman sending me the, you sent these last. We, we actually shared these. <laughs> The squirrel, dude. The squirrel. Oh my god. Is that like a Chris King? Is that a Chris King J? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go as, as late as you guys want to vibe to, bro. Oh, Brittany, that's not coming out until season four. Uh, that list I made is, is until we get the Millie. That's our season three table. Every season, we got to make it crazy. Make it crazier. I like this one. I wish I can grow a beard like that. <laughs> but I like how he oldified me and the squirrel. The squirrel is very... Uh, what's that word? Not levelized. He's very... Spiritually matured. <laughs> but I like how he put Live Vibe 900. So... That's my goal to look like that guy by Live Vibe 100. 
900. That's how many live vibes in a year? There's 52 weeks in a year. 52 times 5 is... I wonder how old I'll be at Live Vibe 900. If I did five a week for a year, uh, that's too much mathy right now. <laughs> it's true though, dude. The squirrel is dope as shit. I'm gonna look, my beard's gonna be that color next year. <laughs> squirrel. The live vibes. Oh, I love this dude. <laughs> I look so angry. Why do I look Puerto Rican? <laughs> why do I look like? Why do I look like Drake? Look at look at look at the little bastard. <laughs> Raymond, we're shooting our calendar together, buddy. We're just, look at the squirrel. <laughs> Raymond, if you're still vibing with us, I don't think he is, but but I I I think we're gonna. Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> Five point two years, Bassman. All right. Five point two years. It'll be live vibe nine hundred. Really? It won't even be a thousand. All right. We got a long road ahead of us, folks. <laughs> oh, oh, sophisticated. Playing chess. Jay, man, I am completely bald at 41. But apparently in the future you can grow hair. There's, there's hair pills. <laughs> the light vibes. Oh, yes. Xbox. Oh, my God. Stop it, Jay, man. Stop it, dude. Chris Dips 1, the Dip Run 2, the reboot. Oh, my God. You made me black too with dreads, huh? <laughs> you made me Mexican, you made me French, and you made me Middle Eastern, Arabian. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is wild. <laughs> oh, J-Man. <laughs> no, that's not Nathan, but that's our boy. <laughs> Looks like he's tossing me the squirrel. Oh my god. J Man, you freaking. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't know why my helmet gives me dip knot energy. Well, it does look like an astronaut helmet, Farquad, and we will share that. We need a stoner. Hoo hoo. The squirrel is just too damn cute. I know, right? <laughs> J Man, I hope you're still in here vibing with us, bro. We're showing your stuff. If you're not in the live chat, I'm not going to share your stuff. I'm, I want to wait until you're present. But I did say J-Man here. That's why I'm sharing J-Man. J-Man, you freaking rock, dude. Thank you for these, bro. Always a laugh. Stillman, you sent me screenshots of your order. You didn't use my code, bro. You would have saved some money. Stillman showed me screenshots of his outlaw order. It didn't look like he used my code, though. Should he use my code, bro? Save me some money. What is this? Derek, what happened here, bro? Is Derek even here? Derek, are you in here? This is a wreck that he was in. I'm assuming this is his truck. Yeah, because he had a red truck in his profile picture. Oh, wow. Never mind. He hit a freaking deer, dude. Oh, that's not cool. All right, you are here. Cool, man. Thank you. Thank you for those photos, dude. I love sharing those. 
Those are great, J Man. Hell yes. <laughs> Derek, he sent me these two hours ago. Derek, jeez, dude. I'm glad you're okay, buddy. Not cool, bro. And guys, don't forget also to check the description of the live vibe. I added some more YouTubers. I think I added Jaden, and I added... I think I need to add someone else, though. I added NC Rocker, I believe, and Jaden. Oh, this is dope. I haven't seen this, but I'm assuming it'll be okay to show. JD sent this one. Hold on, let's see. Love and life. And I realize I'm late for work. And I'm like, oh, no, I got to put my contacts in, right? So I forget to wash my hands. Well, I don't forget. Let me get the beginning of it. Just don't do it. And I can I'm at home. I'm dipping. I put in a dip. I'm having a great day. Love and life. And I realize I'm late for work, water. and I'm like, oh no, I gotta put my contacts in, right? So I forget to wash my hands. Well, I don't forget, I just don't do it. And <laughs> I didn't do like this good enough. <laughs> so I run over there, try, I throw in my contacts, I got dip all over my fingers. I get in the car, I'm just getting blasted in the eyes with dip, you know? We were <laughs> just talking about buzz. that. <laughs> if you can handle it, you know what I mean? This is very painful. But you're also very calm because you got a lot of nicotine in your system. In the cheek and the eyelids. Borderline an overload here. I showed up to work that day, my eyes were all red. It's tough to convince your boss you're not high if you show up with eyes that red. Yep. My boss was like, you high today? I was like, nah, I was at home and I was dipping. I forgot to wash my hands and I put my contacts in. He goes, so you're high then. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, I'm high. <laughs> That's not why my eyes are red, but I'm high. Of course, I'm high. I work at a restaurant. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn at home. I'm dipping. I put in a dip. He's a good comedian. I've actually seen some of his stuff, dude. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've heard. Wait, or 100 well, duck-sized horses. 100 duck-sized horses or one? Uh, 100 uh, duck size horse. That's the right answer. Easily. Yeah. Because you imagine it's a not even size close. Duck is terrifying. Dude, I give would be more a, scared of a, a, a horse size duck. Give me one big duck. More scary than a horse size horse. For, precisely. Yeah. 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 I'm definitely taking the, the big duck. What? That's just one thing I gotta worry about. Uh, <laughs> dude, ducks are what? This big? Sure. Dude, I don't want a hundred of fucking horses like that. Dude, on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying. Yeah, but you could probably hop up on like on a tree or something. They can't jump. You could really jump that great. On them I mean, they and could just jump squash over their head. A yeah. giant duck would be <laughs> evil. Just on that all right, trip. all right. Would you rather fight? I'm getting a weed whacker. Duck. I'm getting oh, a weed whacker like... with all those freaking hundred ducks. Do you still do your dip reviews? Bro, I do dip reviews. I do like four a week here on the live vibe, brother. <laughs> yes, I do. But I don't stream on Twitch. I'm, it's, it's all YouTube right now, man. Every so often, I'll, I'll stream simultaneously on, uh, on, on Twitch. Chris, I just made an Instagram, and my sister, like, what made you change your mind about social media? And I said the live vibe, LOL. <laughs> So you created an, an Instagram? I gotta follow you guys. Ma ma if you guys are following me on Instagram and I don't follow you, make sure I follow you. DM me. Or I, I haven't checked the live vibe. But are, are you in the live vibe group chat, Elizabeth? I'll, I'll check. I'll find you. Those photos are awesome, Jamie. Yes, they are. All right, JD. Thanks for sharing those funny ass videos. <laughs> Brandon Brandon sharing some memes Cornholio <laughs> That's Jonathan Davis Most expensive Yep I agree That is the most expensive vehicle this year Oh you got a He's the, Coke, he's the Skull Apple dude I remember I, you were just talking about that I think yesterday Damn you buy a roll of that shit You must really like it Go bring in snuff it's always a classic can. 
Uh, mm -mm. No, Brandon. I'm not a straight dude. I mean, I'm a, I'm a straight dude, but I don't like straight tips. <laughs> PBR. Damn, 18 bucks for PBR? What state do you live in, dude? Here in Florida, that's like 30 bucks nowadays, man. Got them dip coupons, Brandon. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Brandon. Who's next? Who's next? <laughs> Logan DM'd me the other night. And, um... <laughs> you wanna... I'm not going to read my comments. It's a little, a little dirty. <laughs> but let's just say that Logan DM'd me and he wanted to snuggle. And I told him I, I, I can't. He wanted to fool around. I'm like, I can't. I'm on my period. <laughs> he goes, period? You mean sex ketchup? <laughs> not for spotlight. Oh, I just read that. <laughs> oh, sorry, Logan. I showed it. <laughs> We were just talking shit. It was hilarious, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> you see, that's what happens. I gotta check these before going on live, dude. I gotta see... I gotta see these before anything, dude. Alright, guys. Is P.O.B. still here? We're showing P.O.B.'s video. This dude does stunts. And this is the shovel nut shot. Shovel nut shot. What's up, King of Grizzly Dip? This is POB giving himself a nut shot. You can follow him right there on Instagram. I saw this. Lot. This is ridiculous. I don't know why he would do that to himself, but he did it. He did it all right. <laughs> Right in uh, the freaking squirrel nuggies. Uh, don't try that at home. Peace. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. No. No, dude. Why would you do that? So be nuts. Hey, Chris. Off topic, but from yesterday's live vibe, my first sip was skull peach, but by far the worst ones I had was kayak peach and longhorn mint. Right on, Sobe. Welcome to live vibe, brother. Thanks for participating in that question. <laughs> Did you puke at all, dude? Dude, the bass man. Dude, I watched Live Vibe 8 and 9 last night. And the difference between then and now is unreal, right? A little weird. I've grown up, dude. And that's only been three months <laughs> since those videos. What's, what's up, King of Grizzly Dip? All right, well, I'll, that's out there. LOL. <laughs> what was it from, Logan? There was some there was a joke that we did on yesterday's live vibe. Dude, the ins, it wasn't if you were here in the <laughs> ninja. <laughs> Let me check. I might as the cat's out of the bag, Logan. No, you were talking about your redhead. You were talking about your redhead. You'll bring it in, big dog, since my redhead future ex-wife best friend is out is out to sea for five more weeks. We snuggling. Good show, brother. <laughs> he goes, LOL, good show, brother. He was talking about yesterday's live vibe. And he wanted to snuggle. I'm like, I'm on my period, bro. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. He goes, I'm dying. Okay, we can put a towel down. <laughs> I'm like, you dirty bastard. Bad Logan. And then he sends me that period. You mean sex ketchup? <laughs> Sorry for those, you know, people. Yeah, Derek, I already showed the people. You weren't here, apparently. <laughs> I already showed them, dude. I called out your name, bro. Good. All right. So you did see him. Perfect. <laughs> Logan. Logan, Logan. 
Dude, Farquad, you're just grabbing and getting bangers, dude. I was at look at look at this freaking Farquad. Farquad's always freaking Look at that. Massive. Is this at the dam again, Farquad? Or Alf? <laughs> I think Farquaad said something else. Yeah, Farquaad's vibing. This was an hour ago. Farquaad, you look high as shit, my friend. Farquaad, you high again. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Farquaad. Real zombie fish. Oh, you, James, you were right, James. Real zombie fish. Well, that looks like a freaking... Like a, like a salmon, that sock salmon type of fish. Dude, that's gnarly, dude. Gnarly, James. Jaden, he's vibing. Jaden's vibing with his doggo watching the live vibe. Hell yes, dude. Oh, look at that doggo. <laughs> Is your doggo vibing with the live vibes music, bro? I hope he is. <laughs> He's chilling, dude. I'm one of these days, dude. I'm going to do the live vibe like in bed. In bed, I'm going to do it. J-Man, just sent a full photo of you as a Jamaican. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Let's see. <laughs> yeah man yeah man <laughs> um j man this is cultural appropriation bro you can't put me in blackface bro <laughs> sasobi nuts not from the skull peach but next week i was like kind of like this and saw how much cheaper type kayak peach was so i got it and we were you were gator hunting and the water got choppy and i puked everywhere oh no you probably lured in those gators dude you didn't show that oh did i not show that Oh, this is a Japanese hornet. Remember you guys, we looked up this the other night? So Brandon apparently killed a couple of these Japanese hornets or some shit. Dude, this is wild, bro. Remember we were looking at those hornet pictures? Dude, this is disgusting, dude. Rancid, my friend. Rancid. <laughs> there you go, Brandon. We got him in, buddy. Chum salmon. It's the final part of staging. That was a, that was a salmon? <laughs> Chris Bristamon dips one. <laughs> well, shoot. No, it's not, dude. It's funny. You can do that, bro. I'm not offended. Chris Marley. <laughs> it's a part of the dam, but it looks like a main lake called Lake George. Right on. Yeah. Dude, you can see... Dude, I didn't even like looking at it. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, nice. Ninja. Ninja's trailer. Her out and her family. Her, her and her family are going out to Dumont Dunes, California. Ready to celebrate with all the sand cars. Dude, that's beautiful. Darla, you're gonna have a blast. Whoa. Hell yes, Ninja Bear. <laughs> Let's see what kind of shit she got us. What kind of shit? Let me unmute this. Stop lifting heavy and take a free workout. <laughs> she got us with the squirrel. She got us with the squirrel. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Chest raise. Is this where y'all parked at? Dude, I want to look up. That's a trailer currently in the desert. Months ago, it said free chest x-rays. Good old California home. Oh, yeah. You can see where the X was. Free chest Dude, I hope whoever owned that is okay. They probably got... Yeah. Have a good night, Dark Hills. Have a great weekend, brother. Damn, Ninja Bear. <laughs> It has, dude, she had a nice trailer, dude. That's freaking massive. <laughs> Who's Jake? Who's Jake in the live vibe? This was sent recently. Jake, are you here vibing with you, vibing with us all? Jason finally got back from my nephew's 14th birthday party. What's up, Jason? You made it, dude. Ah, uh, Dark is saying that he loves us all. He love you, Dark Hills. I miss some of yours. Hold on, where is is there a Jake in here? Oh, Wally, Wally, that's you. All right, dude, Jake, dude, what the hell, brother? That's massive, dude. Look at Jake, dude. <laughs> This has a shark and Jake. Why is there blood in the bottom? You catch that? Is that shark hurt? First off, I would never grab a shark, brother. Not like that. It's him hunting. I'm assuming with his friends and family. What are those? Ge gooses? Ducks? Look at that doggo. Look at that doggo. Nice, Jake. Oh, what happened? Oh, this is a video. Oh, hold up, Jake. Hold up. If you're going pew pew in it, I cannot show that. I'm glad I caught that. I'm glad I caught that. But guys, if you follow Jake on Instagram, you can. I'm pretty sure you can look at that video. Uh, that was close, Jake. I you, you're somewhat new here, dude. Last time I showed a picture of you know what, the live got cut off. So. I'm glad I, I cut that raw that off right there. Yes, I have. CN Beats. It's really good. The flavor is just like the Outlaw Wintergreen. That's that type of wintergreen flavor. It's really good, dude. Geese and ducks, Wally says. Hell yes. Hell yeah, Wally. Okay, it goes pew pew, my bad. No, dude, you didn't know. You didn't know. It's okay. It's okay. But thank you for sharing, Jake. I just accepted that, so I'm going to follow you later on tonight, dude. Because I do want to... I'm going to check out that video after the live vibe. Who is Ice Piece? Mitch. That's you, Stillman, right? Derek, we showed yours already, bro. You weren't here, apparently. <laughs> but I can show it again if you want. Close one. Yeah, that was close. Ninja Bear, I just tried the Berserker Sweden's Fish today. I tossed in two, and it feels awesome. To me, it tasted more like a confetti cupcake. Confetti cupcake? To me, it, it just tastes phenomenal. But if you like confetti cupcake, hell yeah. Actually, I don't know. Have I ever had a confetti cupcake? It tastes like the Sweden's fish candy to me. <laughs> Steelman, I'm sharing your photos. And I think these are AI. Wamper candy canes, okay. Doritos Locos. Why would you want to wipe your butt with cheddar cheese freaking toilet paper? <laughs> Orbit hot and ready. <laughs> Pringles original, chocolate covered. These 
all sound disgusting, dude. I don't know if this is Stillman, though. This might be a rando, though. No, it was 16 minutes ago. Yeah, T-Jar. Yeah, it is Stillman. It is Stillman. Turning 2004. Wait, 2024. Turning 30, 1994. What? So if you were born in 94, 95, you're turning 30 this year? Oh my god, yeah, you are. <laughs> Bro, I think it's crazy people born in 2000 are already 24 years old. We got you, Stillman. Bro, those are disgusting, bro. I would never eat any of those products or use any of those products, Stillman. <laughs> Where is Jaden? Oh, damn. There you go, Jaden. Is that a shrimp grilled cheese sandwich, dude? You son of a bitch. That looks good, dude. Oh, these are dope. This. Oh, these are from tonight, dude. That is from tonight. He's got the Outlaw Wintergreen, dude. Guys, don't sleep on that Wintergreen Outlaw, dude. It's super fresh tasting, dude. Kiss my country ass, Jamin says. <laughs> there we go, Jamin. We got him, buddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jamin, what the hell? <laughs> you guys are wild. <laughs> Two more hey, K9 dropped it. What's up, K9? Two more years, I'll be 30 here. <laughs> I like this, Steven. I like the chocolate tundra. The chocolate tundra tastes like a Tootsie Roll, dude. It tastes like a Tootsie Roll. We, we reviewed that in the live vibe last week, I think it was, or a couple weeks ago. I was doing Berserker with, dude, that Winterberry is dope, dude. I like the Winterberry. Take it easy, Farquad. <laughs> All right, guys, now that we're here vibing, we're only two hours into the live vibe, and there's like five would you rather questions that I really want to get. If you guys still want to vibe tonight, there's only 26 of you guys in here, but let's do this, man. Let's do this. These are some really good ones here that we can talk. We'll do these and we'll end the live vibe. I believe there's like five questions. Let me check. Hold on. Four questions, guys. But we'll take our times with it. We'll take our time with this one. I'm in no rush. Here we go, guys. Would you rather have the ability to rewind to a previous time in your life or have the ability to fast forward to a future time in your life? That's what we're doing, brother. We're doing it. And since I'm going longer, I might have to get some fruit here. So have the ability to rewind to a previous time in your life. Is there anything like, would you rather relive anything in your past? I don't know. But in the same time, have the ability to fast forward to a future time in your life. I would even, the future... What if you were to do, what if you were to pick your future and it's like grim? It's like you're homeless living in a shelter. I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to do that. So I'd probably do rewind for me. What's up, fish? <laughs> Stillman just says bottom. <laughs> Attaboy, green. Hell yes. The only way to control the future is in the present, Wally. 
can always control your future. Yep, exactly. But can't go back and change anything, no matter how bad you want it. K9 says he'd rather go back. Maybe could prevent my seizures. Yeah, what would you change, K9? First off, how would you even prevent your seizures? I'm hungry. That's a good one, though. I wouldn't want to go to the future. I It'll ruin it. It'll ruin it. That'll be a mind F, dude. Sorry, guys. I'm eating some pineapple chunks. Well, I'll only have a couple. Rewind to the past, Green says. It's better than the future, LOL. <laughs> Yeah, if you rewind time, if you rewind time, you'll get to see loved ones who've passed. That's true. If I'm going to rewind to a moment in time, it'll probably be like a moment in time where I had a really good sex with one girl. Well, I had a lot of good sex, but I'll pick one really good one. <laughs> You would go back, Jaden. Interesting, dude. You would go back. For what, though? What would you do? I would go back to the day I was born. And hopefully I'll be, I'm able to talk back. What's up, world? I wouldn't rewind or fast forward. I don't want to relive or change anything, nor do what I want to miss out. No. Just skip to the future. <laughs> Logan, stop that shit, buddy. Stop it. We're done with the catch-up talk, bro. Now a whole live vibe knows that we want to cuddle, bro. What's up with that? Dark Hill's gonna get pissed. Rewind back in time, Ninja Bear says. So I can beat my trauma monster's ass. Click, bang, bang. Fair, that's a good reason. That's a great reason. Very good. <laughs> my comment made you think of that. What would you go, rewind? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, I got caught. My dirty mind got caught. <laughs> the thing is, I haven't had very many. I mean, I had my grandma pass away two, three years ago, but I don't have any, luckily, as of today, I don't have any really bad, bad passings that I had in my life. But yeah, that made me think about it. <laughs> I wouldn't have stopped dipping and started smoking if I knew back then that dipping was so much better for you. There you go, Jason. You slap your old self. Oh, K9. Do you think that's what started your seizures? Did you like give yourself brain trauma, dude? You're not cool. I hope you're not doing that to this day, brother. I would go back and restart, no hesitation. I don't know, man. That's tough. Let's just fast forward after the election and see if, if we have over three. Yeah. I'll fast forward to election day. <laughs> and then place a bet. Place a bet. Go to Vegas. I would go back in the past to see my dad one more time. Oh, Steven. Yeah, totally. Damn, Steven. That's, that's, yeah. No. If my dad passed, absolutely. I wouldn't even hesitate on this question. 
Canine, I'm over 300 pounds at 5'5", five five and have high blood pressure and seizures and two bad shoulders and high cholesterol and pinch never, and pinch never, and bad, jeez, canine. Well, canine, I got some good news for you, bro. If you start to diet and work out, all that will be gone. High blood pressure. Two bad shoulders, I don't know if that'll go away, but eating healthier diet, less inflammation in your joints, bones, and you got to think of it. 300 pounds is a lot, dude. It's, 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 it's a lot of weight, but you can hop on keto, bro. You can lose 20 pounds in like a week, bro. Your first week, you can lose 20 pounds. But you should really consider, think about changing your diet, brother, and... and as soon as you find out that no one's gonna help you but you, the quicker you'll start getting better. No one's gonna, is gonna hold your hand to not put whatever you're putting in your mouth. No one's gonna do it. You have to decide for yourself that you need to make a change, brother. But hey man, if, 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 if one of these days you wanna hop on a, some sort of Skype call or something, um, I can give you like a diet plan or something, dude. I'll, I'll love to help you out, canine. Just let me know if you ever need anything, dude. When I was little, we would go to Mexico every other winter. After my grandparents passed, we stopped going. Last time I went, I was 16 and I'm now 35. Now I'm missing Mexico and my family there. So you would go back. Yeah. I used to go to Mexico every weekend. <laughs> so you're in. Yeah. Where in Mexico, Elizabeth? I'm curious. Tijuana, Rosarito, and Sonata? Or is it like deep, deep Mexico? Snowboarder. Well, I can't chat on YouTube anymore, so I switched to Twitch. <laughs> What's up, Snowboarder? How you doing, man? He's vibing over on Twitch. Hell yes. I've aged myself by smoking cigarettes for 20 years. If never started, I've had original teeth. I've had all my original teeth and less wrinkles. Is that true though? I, I've i heard, my grandma was a big smoker, but is it true that if you smoke, right? And you do the, you pucker your lips like you're gonna kiss, you know? You're giving a good night kiss or whatever. <laughs> Those wrinkles around your lips, I think. Or you know how people, when they always frown, they have like those big forehead, forehead stripes. But yeah, I, I, I do know that smoking does age you. But eh, that'll be good. That'll be a good time to go back, Jason, for sure. K9, what if I fast forward only had six months left? To only realize, never found love, etc. And it, yeah, you're going to some dark thinking here, canine. And had a heart surgery and blood sugar, or worse, Alzheimer's, or canine. Or you can view it like this, brother. What if you went to the future six months from now and you weigh 200 pounds, bro, and your seizures stopped, your blood pressure dropped, you're normal, you're healthy, and you have all this energy. That's how you have to think, my friend. And guess what? Make that reality. You can make that a reality. You can make that a reality right fucking now. You can say six months from now, I'm gonna weigh 200 pounds and all my stress and, and health issues are gone. But you went and now you're seeing the worst. I didn't say that, you did. That negative self-thinking canine is not good for you, bro. It's not good for you. It does so much harm to you subconsciously that, yeah, canine, you got to think. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this, bro, but make that change, dude. Take control of your life. You're the only person that can change you. You're No one's going to do it. No relatives. Nothing, no one. 
You have to make that change, brother. And you make great content on YouTube, bro. The shit you do is crazy. I want to see you freaking get a million subscribers on YouTube, brother. But you're not going to get to a million if if you go along this path of negative self-think. You got to believe in yourself. I love you, K9. We all love you here, bro. We all want to see you succeed, bro. We don't want to see you hurting. We don't want you to hear about your... We want to hear about, hey, my shoulders are feeling great today. Hey, I lost this much weight. That's what we want to see, K9. <laughs> Fish. I think the better question is, what's the catch? You go back, and it's like Groundhog Day or a movie. Well, yeah. I mean, I assume if you rewind, you can go back to the current time. But you guys, that's a good one. Yeah, I just found out that my uncle, oh, I just found out that my uncle passed away. Damn it, Steven. Last year, my dad's family never told me. Not cool, dude. Not cool. I wonder why they kept it from me, man. I wonder why they kept it from you. <laughs> also, your Twitch says GTA LA Heist. You should change it. Why didn't it? Are you telling me the title of the video doesn't say World's Craziest Animals Live Vibe 77? Why would, why would that happen? My one med makes you eat and gain weight though. Uh, you tried keto multiple times. All right, so why'd you stop? Self-control. Self-control, it's, 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 you gotta be disciplined. Motivation's good, but guess what? Motivation is temporary. You need to be disciplined. You need to tell yourself, hey, I'm going to walk 10 minutes a day. I'm just going to walk around the block. I'm going to walk down the street and walk back. And you do that every day, even when you're tired, even when you don't feel like doing it, even when it's cold out, even when it's hot out. That's discipline. And you're going to learn so much about yourself, K9, once you start doing things that are difficult in your life. You're going to feel unfreaking stoppable brother. You, you will. Yes, yeah, Sean. Sean, you're in, um, you're in the East coast, right? You're Jacksonville. I remember you on Twitch when I was gaming. I think you were in Jacksonville area. You're just somewhere in the East coast. I think if I remember correctly, Jason says K9, you on Welburton. That's what it did to me. Gained 25 pounds in two months on that bastard of a medication. K9, you got to grind, bro. I'm 6'5", 350. And just finishing college. Played four years. Damn. You played four years of college football, all you a boy. And it out of beating on my body. Set your mind to anything and you can do it, bro. Believe in yourself. Believing in yourself, bro. I've showed you guys this multiple times. I got I believe written everywhere. I believe in myself. I am worthy. I am worthy. You got to put little post-its, little signs everywhere just to remind you to think positively, dude. You got to believe in yourself, can I? Yeah, just believe in yourself, Jamie. Negative isn't good. You got to believe in yourself, K9. The only thing holding you back is itself, buddy. Deep my dad is from Los Reyes, Michoacan. Right on, Elizabeth. Deep, deep. That is deep. You gotta stay positive in life. It's hard, trust me. I fight it every day. But you can't stop being positive. You can't stop being positive, exactly. Yeah. Dude, life sucks, dude. Life sucks. I mean, not... Life doesn't suck, but sometimes life sucks. It just happens. Breakups, car accidents, bills, it all. It's just a part of this matrix, right? This is part of this simulation that we're in. That's why I changed my mentality on everything. And I don't have to participate in that. It don't matter. I'm just focused on myself, focus on my goals. That's what you got to do. You got to find purpose, dude. Rosarito's dope. I get fish tacos there. We would drive down to Rosarito just to get fish tacos. I love Rosarito. 
I have been so close to death many times that I am not afraid to die. I'm sure you got some crazy military stories, Renee. But being not afraid to die is very liberating. I'm not afraid of death. If I died right now on the live vibe, I'm dying happy. You know why? Because I'm doing something I love. And I have a purpose. That's it. Yeah, it will suck not to reach the peak, but I'm not dying depressed, worried, anxiety all the way up. None of that. Renee, I'm glad you're not afraid to die. I, I hope we're in peace with it. I believe that we go, we carry on, dude. Our souls carry on. Same, Renee. Now, granted, Renee and Green, we're a little, we're... Our squirrel nuggies hang a little bit lower than a lot of people here. <laughs> We're a little bit older. So it, it some of this is this is life experience. You know, you start to view things differently. You start to view what's really important in life, you know? Mason made it, what's up? CD1, that is so true. If you say you feel like shit, you're gonna, no, you're not gonna probably. You're gonna feel like shit. <laughs> feel like shit if you say. You feel good and are happy. You're gonna feel good and be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Mason. If you self-doubt yourself, you're gonna self-doubt yourself. Period. It's all about being, being your... Imagine we all have two people. You have yourself, right? You got you. And then you got that voice in your head. You got the your other you, right? Oh, don't do that. What if they judge me? Oh, don't do that. You got to be one. You got to communicate. Like, I hype myself up. When I wake up, oh, Chris, this is going to be a good day, bro. Get it. Get it. Stay hard. I got stay hard written in my mirror in my bathroom from Goggins. Stay hard. I have 145 pounds goal that, that I want to hit. And I have all my goals written in there. I'm brushing my teeth. Before bed or after my shower, I, I read them all. I read them all. And if you keep going to that restroom and you read that, after a year, those positive affirmations get engraved in your subconscious. And then you just, you stop reading it. Now, you're being it. And it comes naturally. I, I got 40 years to erase. 40 years of conditioning. 40 years of trauma, 40 years of that. So it's, you got to rewire that brain. But canine, if, if you've always been that way, dude, it's, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. But you got, there's got to be, the thing is, the re, I, I don't know shit. I found God and started my spiritual journey when I hit rock bottom. If I didn't hit rock bottom, I would have done the research and read and do all this shit. So I don't know what what needs to happen for you, K9. That was my switch because I was nothing. There was nothing. I was just limp, dead. I was dead. And at that point, the only way to go is up. And it took me to hype myself up, dude. You gotta you gotta be your best friend. You gotta love yourself, man. You gotta love yourself. It's not easy work, bro, but it's, everyone does it, bro. I don't know if you're a praying man. Praying helped for me. Damn, $64 for two rolls? Oh, that's not too bad, but that's a lot, dude. Mountain State of West by God, Virginia. Since you asked where I lived earlier. There's a lot of people from West Virginia, bro. This is facts. Devil or evil or negative feelings know how to attack when you're feeling better or doing better. Yeah. Can I, how are you at your most happiest? When was the last moment you're like, you were truly happy? What were you doing? Were you playing a video game? Were you out with some friends? You got to find what makes you happy, dude. Whether it's recording dip videos. I'm sure that makes you happy. You got to just do more things that make you happy and do things that 
not make you think about the negative shit. Whenever I go to an, dude, every day, I'll think of a negative thought, but I quickly, I quickly turn that bitch around. I'm a Cali bonehead. <laughs> snowboarder. There was a snowboarder on Twitch. Tyler, are you still here vibing with us, Tyler? You you remember snowboarder, right? Or what was it? Or was it you, Snowboarder77? Was it you that we would be vibing with Tyler and Ashton? Steven says, K9, you can do it. Yes, you can, K9. NC Rocker, yeah, I lost 10. Hell yes, NC Rocker. Good for you, buddy. I'm proud of you, NC Rocker. Keep going, dude. Keep going. If you ever need any information on diet, workout, anything, guys. My purpose is to be of service to others. And one way is doing it this live vibe, right? Making people happy, not worrying about shit, and just having a good time. But I like I, I help a lot of you guys on DMs. A lot of you guys are going through shit, and, and, and I'm there for you. I'm there for you. But let me know if you need any help, NC. Keep, keep at it, dude. Okay, nine five piece, bro. That shit is all just a simulation that is already played out in another realm. Absolutely. What's up, John? How you doing, brother? You made it, dude. You caught us on a good night where we're actually staying a little bit later. You vibing, dude? Hey, for the new people that are trickling in, including John, do me a favor. Like this video. Drop a like. They just didn't want to tell you, see, but that's not cool, man. Green says, welcome, John. Elizabeth, my mom's from Guadalajara, Jalisco. I grew up with Spanish-speaking parents and so proud of my dad because he became very, very well-known farmer when we were from, he, where, where we were from. He's the best. That's so awesome. That's so awesome, Elizabeth. Yeah, I have family like Wasabas. I don't know if you ever heard of Wasabas, but Mexico City. I forgot what city is the place that makes the Pacifico beer. That's where my grandpa's from. Mazatlan. You ever heard of Mazatlan? That's where my grandpa's from. Reviving Elizabeth. You got some Mexican ins. Your title does say world's craziest creatures, but the Twitch category says GTA. <laughs> Ah, screw it, bro. We'll play GTA. <laughs> P.O.B., you're going to have to rewatch it, buddy. We did. I thought you were in here, bud. We showed it, dude. We showed it. You're going to have to go back and watch it. <laughs> bro, I don't know how you did that, dude. I don't know. You self-nutted your shot with a freaking shovel, dude. And you carried a brick. Come on, bro. <laughs> Jason, I used to be on lithium a while back, and I just made me like a zombie. Couldn't show any kind of emotions or, or want to do anything. Wow. You guys are really opening up with some personal stuff here. I don't know what li li lithium is. I don't know if that's a... Uh, uh, for... Is that for blood? To lower your blood sugar or blood pressure? Is that a blood pressure medication? I'm nervous about my future putting putting positive. Change that. I'm not nervous about my future because it's going to be positive. That's how you start. Just whenever you think like listen to what you write and do the opposite. That's how I do it for myself. You don't say you're nervous. You say, I'm happy for my future. It's going to be positive. That's how it starts. It starts by the way you think. Brandon, I'm from West Virginia, born and raised. You asked earlier where I was from, CD. Believe. <laughs> Did that sound West Virginian to you, Brandon? I'm 47. My squirrel nuggets hang really low. <laughs> Stay low. Derek, no one got hurt. Yeah, dude, we, 
I, sh I showed your, your, your photos, dude. Bro. It's crazy. I never knew the, the, you know those deers do so much damage. It's almost like, you, was that truck total? Is it true though, guys? You guys are a bunch of rednecks on here. Is it true that, because obviously you need tags, right? But if you hit a moose or a deer and they're dead, you're allowed to take it? Is that true? I'm sure I'll check in the comments in about 30 minutes to find out that answer, but throwing it out there if anyone wants to do. That's good, Derek. That nobody got hurt. Absolutely, Derek. That looked brutal, dude. That almost looked like Elizabeth's crash. I'll have to share pics of the farm. The fram. The farm. Yes, you do. Show us. That'll be beautiful. Chris says, stay hard. It's a Goggins thing, bro. He's, he's Goggins and one badass mother effer, dude. Stay hard, meaning stay freaking hard. Don't stay soft. Don't stay limp, okay? No one likes to limp, you know what? Stay rock hard, my friends. Live Vibe 77. <laughs> the almond trees are full blossom. Looks beautiful this time of year. Hell yes. Dude, what are they, what kind of blossoms are there? I, lo I love how Japan, Japan has those, uh, what are they known for? Cherry blossoms, right? Those beautiful pink, oh. Is that what they are? Cherry blossoms down there? Mason, if you hit the like button, there's only one way up. Absolutely. Hit that like button, folks. Quick question for you, Chris. Is this still a battleground? Starts insanely. <laughs> it's funny. The song, you guys remember my old intro. A lot of you guys are old school fans, but the... This is the battleground. It's a song by Day to Remember off the album Homesick. And that's towards the end of the song. It's a really mellow song, but then in the end, this is the battleground. I love that song. I miss that, Brandon. I miss that song. Unfortunately, YouTube is just, yeah. F your teachers, bro. F your teachers. You had shitty teachers. How many teachers have you had in your life, K9? I can guarantee there's more people in this live vibe that believe in you. You got us here to support you, bro. We love you here, man. Just know that. You don't want to be... Who cares what those negative people think anyways, man? You got us, brother. Some of you know that I go out metal detecting. It's not just fun and a hell of a high when you dig something up that gets you excited. It's physical therapy for me. It's great. He's out in nature. It's beautiful, Green. You get out there. Yeah, damn right it's physical. You're on your knees, you're digging. That's It's therapy for a lot of people. Renee, I don't know if Renee's still here, but... Renee, you're vibing with us, right? He, uh... He, forest, dude. He says he goes on walks all the time. That's what you gotta do, man. You gotta find your thing. Love nature. Be around tobacco plants and cattle and living out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, if that makes you happy, hell yeah, dude. I am a sore believer, but have been to church the last two Sundays. And it has given... Oh, it's given you peace, Renee. There you go, Renee. I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy for you, Renee. <laughs> Cow tipping and tipping. <laughs> My grandmother... Mother. Only guy she dated. And dated before pass. Before she got married to my late grandfather. And she got married again in 2022. Saturday before Easter. Damn. Damn, K9. I had to get off, but definitely we'll do that tonight. Yeah, dude. Thank you for sharing again, <laughs> POB. It's an antidepressant and mood stabilizer. Yeah, antidepressants, guys. Oh. 
We're so bad for you, man. It just sucks, dude. Like, if there's one sort of medication that I would want to get rid of the world, obviously besides the opioid crisis, but... It's like you go to a doctor and you're like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm depressed. Or I have PTSD, which we all do. We all have traumas, right? But it's like, oh, okay, here, take this pill. You know, like I'm even like... Because <sighs> I do the same thing with my edibles. Do I need to take edibles every night? No, but they make me feel good. They make me fall asleep. But do I need them? No. Are they fun? Yes. But antidepressants are just, they're so dangerous, man. It's like the doctor's like, here, come back next month for a refill. Come back next month for a refill. It's like they don't want you fixed. They want you hooked on their drugs because obviously they get kickbacks and the pharmaceutical company, man. These doctors, too, who prescribe medications, they are the devil. They are the devil, dude. Doctors who prescribe these and don't, I don't know, man. 2020 opened my eyes. 2020 opened up my eyes, man. But obviously, it's if the antidepressants help you guys, then yeah. But just know that you can do that. You can get to that state of well-being and positivity without any medication. <laughs> it just takes work, man. You got bullied a lot in school too, K9? Fuck, man. Do you live with your grandparents, K9? Do you live with your parents, K9? Do you have an option to move somewhere? Or move, uh, move out with some other relatives? You're just in a bad environment, if that's the case, dude. You gotta change your environment. That's horrible, Kate. And that sucks to hear, dude. Logan, here in New Mexico, we have to call a game warden for permission to keep after uh, to permission to to oh to keep it. Okay, Logan, this is the deer question. To keep after hitting the the, the deer. That's how I got mine last year. <laughs> Lol. Dang, dude. I hope your car was okay. Your truck. I'll load that bitch, no tag. <laughs> None of that is or was your fault, man. You got to know that. Everyone is responsible for themselves. Got to think of where those bullies are now. I know of at least one of mine is doing life in prison. Absolutely. Jason's very wise. See, it depends on where you're from. But in Missouri, if you can, if you can, the police, you can keep the deer. Well, we call the police, you keep the deer. No, they're almond trees, so the blossoms are white, but just as beautiful. Dope. White blossoms. I want pictures. <laughs> oh, look at Snowboarder. I'll never rewind to a previous time. My life has been so much better in my 40s than all the years before. Glad to hear that, buddy. Glad to hear that, brother. I actually feel better after venting. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Awesome, K9. I love to hear that, dude. I love to hear that. You are your reality, bro. You are your reality. You should look into spirituality, bro. And I'm not talking like, yeah, God praying and stuff, but... Spirituality is is doing the work within yourself and manifesting and and Aaron Aaron A A R N O I think his name is something like this Aaron Dowdy I think he's on YouTube he has a beard long hair he he makes really good videos dude about manifesting and changing the way you think and dealing with past traumas. Um, look up this dude. 
Pleasing them is keeping you stuck. Break the cycle now. The workshop will trans... Here, let me go to this other camera. Wrong camera. Wrong camera. Right camera. This is what I watch and listen to a lot of the times, K9. You can see the you can see the videos I've watched based on the the red mark in the bottom, but yeah, the winner's effect. If people call you nice, watch this. That's something I learned about myself. I was always a people pleaser. People pleasers or empaths, you know. Money will come to you after doing this attraction technique. Using the expectation effect and all these methods, dude. Don't try to do this. Be it and it'll be yours. This will activate your highest timeline instantly. Warning, no going back. So I would, you know, play around with this dude. He does a lot of, you know, all... Shit, this is a cap of... I mean, I don't... This dude, he knows his shit, dude. But I follow a lot of these people and... And also, K9, change what, you know, uh, one thing that I've done too is I really changed my, um, I've really changed what I watch, as weird as that sounds, like the content I watch. Have you guys heard of Police Activity on, on, on YouTube? I used to watch, I love Police Activity, but even then... Watching stuff like that, watching shootings, you know, go to these websites where there's gory stuff. I used to love that stuff, dude. But that stuff is just negative, 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 dude. It's not good for you, man. So I'm, I am focusing on good content, even the movies that I choose to watch. But just, you know, just, 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 just some thoughts, dude. CD, have you given up gaming? No, I still game Saturday nights alone, Red Dead. But yeah, this is my purpose now, bro. I'm, I'm sure the live vibe, you know, might there might be a time down down the line once I get a better computer and it can handle more uh, RAM and all that shit, then I can do a, a gaming session on here. But now this is this is it now, bro. Yeah, for now. Been watching for years, man. How's life? Andrew McDowell. What's up, brother? Welcome to Live Vibe, dude. Um, life is great, Andrew. Thank you for asking. How are you doing, brother? Actually, let's go to the next one, guys. Let's go to the next one. Andrew, would you rather ski in the mountains or vacation on the beach? This is a good one. My mom and dad and my stepdad fuss so much. Can hear him downstairs. Yeah. That sucks, dude. It's just, you're in a bad environment, K9. You're in a bad environment, dude. Andrew, Green is welcoming you to hear the live vibe. Hell yes. All right, guys. Ski in the mountains or vacation on a beach. We're going to figure out really quick who are water people and who are mountain people. Right now, this guy right here, even living in Florida, I am a mountain person. I'm skiing in the mountains. After all the fish we saw today, I don't want to go near the ocean. Jason, I know it was so much easier to go pick up a log instead of having to buy two rolls and pay taxes on them individually. User comments are being all squirted, squirted, varies. Exactly 100%. I can't figure out why I can't get more views. Man, what were these comments coming from? Oh, Jason was... Okay, um, oh, look at Steven. This is a nice comment. The best part of his life is his wife and kids. Beautiful, Steven. Hell yes, brother. Hell yes, bro. That's beautiful. I'm going to say that one of these days, too. Right now, the best part of my life is you guys right now, the light vibe. Mountains, J-Man says. Yep, same here. Don't get me wrong, it's just nice to sit out on the beach and stuff, but nah, man. Uh, I'm a mountain guy, dude. I'm a mountain person. Going to the beach, CD. Metal detecting. <laughs> bro, but what if, like, you're in the Appalachian Mountains, bro? What if you can go to, like, what if you find the city of gold? 
The Mayans, bro. Go to Mexico. I don't think you can ski in Mexico, dude. <laughs> ski in the mountains. I visit the beach a lot. <laughs> I can see mountains where I live. Yeah. I like... I'm mountains. I'm mountains. What do you guys think? Mouth? <laughs> Mouth canine? Hmm. Used to live with your grandparents and grandmother. Now I got married again. My late grandmother passed. Oh shit! Oh, I got it, dude. I got. It. Oops, I'm first. Oh, no worries, dude. No worries, dude. I'm scrolling up on comments seeing if I missed anyone. I like. Have you guys noticed that every live vibe we do, there's always new people chiming in or coming in, stopping by, which is dope, dude. I hope they stay. I hope they become regulars. You slip, yeah, yeah, not good. Mountains, Justin. Justin's running mountains, dude. Not too far of a drive before I'm in the mountains. Lucky. Vacation on the beach with the case of Paps and some Skull Apple. Or hell, American's Best, Original, or Black Pouch, ooh. What was that Black Pouch called? They had a name for it, dude, they had a name for it. That's just you, but that's the best thing about you, Brandon. You know damn well people, or I used to make memes clowning on Skull Apple. Or you're out here sharing with the live vibe your role of Skull Apple, and you're like, this is me. And that's the best thing, dude. Being your authentic self is the best vibrational, highest vibrational thing you can do for yourself. Being true to yourself. Didn't get to see my dip tower tonight. You want to see your dip tower, K9? It was a beautiful dip tower. It's because you weren't here, K9. You weren't here when we were doing this. You used to be on the live vibes, all, all live vibes, bro. Now you're like, you stop by and then you're gone. But I know you're going through some shit, bro. Let me see. Let me see, K9. Ooh. K9, you're going to have to resend that photo. It was one of those story ones that I already seen and I can't reopen. You're going to have to resend it, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up, John? I'm in Colorado, so it's mountains. Bro, Colorado is... I would love to live there, Justin. Colorado would be dope because... It's only a two hour flight to San Diego, flying out of Denver. Um, I think Washington State, Colorado. Or Texas would be, would be my choices. I'll be on the beach looking for agates like I do every every day anyways. <laughs> Some sick ass rocks, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Gemstones. Gemstones. I want to be a regular. I followed you in the majority of years of Jesse and Atlo Darcy. You are, you're becoming a regular, bro. You're becoming a regular. All right, guys. Next one. This is a good one. Have a high-tech home or have a vintage home? You guys like the high-tech stuff? I don't. I don't. I like warm colors. I like old vibes. That's why I got mid-century modern furniture. I like the old 80s vibe. I don't want a freaking touchscreen on my fridge. I don't. It's the most stupidest thing ever. Oh, you can look inside your fridge via this glass so you don't have to open it. What? How cheesy and stupid is that, dude? How cheesy and stupid is that? These high-tech homes. 
I think you can have a little bit of both, though. Oh, my lap This whole show is running through my laptop right now. And a freaking cell phone. But I like vintage. I like the cabin feel, dude. I like the cabin feel. That's why I think ooh, Tennessee would be a dope place. What's up, Cody? Renee says the beach. Then you can look at... <laughs> Changing my mind here, Renee. Oh shit, King, there was an emergency call and my meeting got canceled, so I tuned back in. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, King. <laughs> well, it's still early over there. What is it, like one in the afternoon now? Yeah, dude, we're, we're vibing. It's uh, it's 11.54 here, guys. It's, it's almost midnight. We're gonna be wrapping it up. We got a couple more slides, though. I, I'm down to chill past three hours. I tend to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack, but when my sister brought Doug home, I knew he was one man. <laughs> That's the hangover. I noticed that. <laughs> you are. Are you calling? Is this the wolf pack now, Cody? You calling the live vibe the wolf pack? Is this your wolf pack? <laughs> Watching Trump clips and how he carries himself really made me open my eyes about being authentic. Trump 2024, I said what I said. <laughs> Justin says vintage. High tech with a vintage look. All right. Yeah, I can see that. I just don't like these houses with like all white furniture or like all black. Like it just looks, doesn't look comfy. If you guys were to walk in my apartment, you guys would be like, yeah, this is nice, man. I feel like I can put on my sweatpants and chill and hang out. Vintage, King says. Vintage, Jaden says. Vintage, NC Rocker. Vintage home, Steven. Nice. I work in tech. Give me vintage. I know too much. <laughs> I'll find you on there. Same name for me on there. Hmm? I'm lost. These comments are really weird. Vintage home, history, old house. Yes, baby. Yes, absolutely. But without high tech, I couldn't be with y'all. <laughs> no, well, the vibe, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, it's the way you decorate it, dude. It's the way you decorate it. My, my apartment is 100% vintage by the colors I choose, the carpets, the rugs, the, uh, the, the rugs that I pick. It looks super vintage. I love it. I love it. But it ain't, it ain't high tech, though. I just have my... Yeah, I mean, you can have your basic stuff, right? Your computer, TV, flat screen. I don't want no damn tube TV, that's for sure. I don't miss that. Colonial Victorian houses. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. What are the houses... Are those houses, like, you see, like, in New Orleans? Like, those old... Those are Victorians, aren't they? But yes, I, I agree with you, Green. Vintage, I love old farmhouses. Yes, farm homes. Dope. Actually, vintage with high tech. <laughs> vintage home. It's called Select. There you go. Yeah, one ish, dude. So what, is the rest of your day free now or what? They canceled the meeting. You got out to explore. I bet you there's some hot chicks in Singapore, dude. If you like that type. Vintage, K9 says, vintage home. The squirrel pack, that's what we are. We're not the wolf pack, we're the squirrel pack. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Absolutely, Brandon. High tech Steelman says, hell no, he wants to live in the, like in the Matrix type shit. He wants some like Black Mirror stuff where you get to walk around on your phone and you can demote people. Or, oh, dude, Black Mirror episodes are dope, dude. Yes, Logan, the scroll pack. <laughs> K9 sent pics. All right, let's look at K9's dip tower. Holy crap, Kid Man, that looks beautiful. Look how organized he is. 
Wow, K9. And this is probably all the way deep into like look, it's going like four rows back, dude. Let's see what K9 likes to dip. Alright, K9 likes mint, Stoker's mint. He likes Longhorn Straight. Creek. You got Creek in an old can. Longhorn. A bunch of Longhorn. Cougar. Kayaks. Dude, you have it all, bro. Looks like you're a mint fan, though. You're definitely a mint fan. You even got Skull Mint in there. Skull Peach. K9. Thanks for sharing, brother. I used to keep all my cans, but uh, not anymore. Not anymore. They're just everywhere now. Look at that. He's got Cougar, Cougar Straight. <laughs> you got some Grizzly in there. Look at you got the Kentucky. You got the Kentucky Grizzly cans right there in the middle. Those are dope cans. I I, I don't even have those. Thank you, K9. Beautiful dip tower display, bro. Where do we leave all? Where do we go? Alright, do we... Um... K9, what do you got? Not K9. King, would you rather be a werewolf or be a vampire that had to live off of black buffalo? <laughs> uh... Well, I wouldn't want to be a werewolf. A vampire is more human body type, right? You just can't be out in the sun. You can't eat garlic no more. <laughs> Give me black buffalo, bro. I wouldn't want to be a canine. I wouldn't want to be a werewolf. Plus, I'd just be like one of them like dudes from like Twilight and shit. Where they still pull chicks. <laughs> I just like simple stuff. Yeah, with the vintage, yeah, so do I. Simple stuff, dude. We are in a vintage trailer, but have modern technology, so I'm completely happy with how mine is. LOL, Cody. <laughs> I like the vintage look, dude. I, I like it. I like the browns. I like the olive colors. I like, not the red colors, but I like the, the burgundy colors. I like the orange colors. 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s colors. Jason, I got rid of my dip tower to make room for my drawers bench. Hey. That's that's a good substitute, brother. Vintage home with a rotary phone just to F with the younger people. Bro, the people don't even have... I used to... I grew up with the rotary phone in, at home. I mean, dude, I mean, I don't even think the younger generation even knows the whole texting back in the day. You remember when you had a text and the seven had like four letters? You just had to hit it like two, three, four times. Remember texting on that? That shit was weird. Don't matter. As long as the house has a dishwasher, I wash dishes for a living by hand. <laughs> dude, how are you guys? Jesse is a dish stacker. I'll walk in and he has a stack full of dishes. The key thing, guys, about dishes, this is how I do it. When I cook, I cook, I make my plate, and then I wash the pans or pots before I even eat. And then after I'm done, all the utensils, the plates I use, I wash them immediately. There's never a dirty dish in my sink. It's a lot faster to clean one or two things, get it over with, than having them stack up. But I get it, Brandon. <laughs> and I have a dishwasher. I never use a dishwasher. I don't. Because then that's going to require me to stack them up. Nope, I wash them by hand. It was still drivable, Derek. Good, good. 1700s, I would love to own. I would send a picture of my son, but it shows... No, that's not okay. <laughs> not on the live, dude. Not on the live, Cody. <laughs> Valentine's, try to see Copenhagen and you will understand. Valentine's, try to see Copenhagen and you will understand. I don't know what you mean by that, Renee.
David remembers Rory phones. Yeah, we all do. I'm sure people have seen them. Hey, what's up, Raymond? Raymond stopped by. Raymond, we sock today, bro. We got the $25 case again for the third live vibe in a row. Not cool. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to explore Union Gardens. Rented a cool bike to cruise. That's the way to do it, bro. Hell yeah, cruise it, bro. And you get a little cardio in. See? Two birds, one stone, bro. Raymond, hi. <laughs> Werewolf, get all the pets and belly rubs. <laughs> Poor Logan. He just wants someone to snuggle with him. <laughs> Raymond. <laughs> I was calling relatives in a rotary phone in the 80s. <laughs> I would skull but take a page out of Grizzly's playbook and give me a giant six, yeah, six in one can, absolutely, of Apple. <laughs> they should. I would be a werewolf hybrid, Steve says. I would not be any of them. I got a question you can ask us. Go for it, can I? Vintage home all day, brother, Sasquatch says. Jaden, hey Chris, I make custom bull whips out of a parachute cord. All I ask is what people's is what people's favorite colors are. What the hell is a bull whip, dude? What's a bull whip, Jaden? I don't know what that is, dude. Parachute cord. Like a whip whip? Like an Indiana Jones whip? You can make that out of paracord? It's heavy enough? I like mahogany wood and crown molding, yeah. I like bro wood. I like that reddish, that reddish wood. No good. <laughs> I sent a cleaner picture. Granted, it did bring a tear to my eye. Let me check. Cody, where did you go? You were in my DMs. Now you're not here. Did you change your name? Ah, oh, look at he had wrapped around me to fall asleep. Be right back going to cry. How are you grown already, my boy? Aw, oh, dude, this is Cody with his boy. He's chilling. He's vibing. Oh, See, man? That right there is all you need in life, dude. That's it. Close little family unit, man. And you'll never be a sad person. You'll never be sad. Thank you for sharing, Cody. He's beautiful, man. Oh, we gotta go back to... Bro, I am so freaking hungry, guys. Is there one more picture? All right, here we go. Last picture. Last one for the night, guys. Have a blind date with a... Well, we didn't... Did we do this one already? Have a blind date with a homeless person or kiss a homeless person. I think we've done this one already. But actually, no. We If we did it, we won't do this one. But K9, I think, had one. These twisted T's hit. <laughs> oh, Vintage Home. Oh, no worries, Renee. Sorry, dude. Sometimes I can piece your, your words together, but sometimes I can't, dude. King's favorite color is blue. How many of us got dip towers? How many kids? <sighs> not me, not no more. Take it easy, Sasquatch. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Blue and black is Raymond's two colors. Look at that, Jaden. Nine thousand cans is ridiculous. Fifteen hundred, Jesus. Have a good night, Stephen. Thanks for stopping by, dude. <laughs> Elena's not in here right now, King. <laughs> I'll dip by me. 
Once I muttered, I realized saving cans of tower was pointless, so I threw them away. <laughs> you would have the blind date because you could leave after without a kiss, lol. Yeah, I would definitely go on a date with a homeless person, dude. I would do that, like... I would love to take out a female homeless person. Doesn't she could be old, young, ugly, don't matter. I would love to take a homeless person out on a date and just, you know, give them a good dinner and talk to them. I kissed my ex. She's not home. <laughs> I hope that's not a true story, Cody. <laughs> dude, there's so many homeless people nowadays, dude. But it's okay. We got money to give to Ukraine, right? But we don't want to help our homeless people in our streets. Sad world we live in. You canine, you want to kiss one, huh? Thanks for stopping by, Raymond. Peace out, brother. Yeah. Blind date for me, dude, for sure. I don't think I would have wanted. Dude, you don't know what that homeless person has, dude. I mean, it doesn't say where you're gonna kiss him. Like you could kiss him in the cheek, right? But <laughs> CD one has a soft spot for homeless women. No, I just have a soft spot for homeless people in general, and it just sucks because oh, a lot of them are on drugs, bro. You know, in San Francisco, they're giving you free shit. They're giving you, in California, they give these homeless people free needles. We have a humongous homeless issue in every major city here in America right now. And we're trying to pass a $95 billion bill, which would cure, fix homelessness. Homelessness. Take homeless person on a blind date. But what if you take a homeless person on a blind date, but that homeless person is blind? Would that be a blind date? Take it easy, Steve. Blind date and give love. Absolutely, man. Nick Thompson. I just sent you a DM. Just a cool Lego. Let me check really quick. What's your, uh, Nick, there you go. Accept it. I'm accepting you, my friend. What do you got to show us, Nick? Oh, you son of a bitch, Nick. How dare you? You lucky bastard. I would have to do like 10,000 live vibes to buy one of those. <laughs> you guys, that is the UCS Millennium Falcon that's been out for about a good, it's been out for a while. And it's not even going to retire this year. They're going to keep that going, which is good because it gives me time so I can still buy it. That is a beautiful, beautiful model. How much was that? It was 800 bucks, right? Nick, that was an $800 set or 600 I think it's 800 I think it was like $900 for that set. I don't know. It's big. It's a big set, dude. It's a big set. But dope, dude. I'm glad you got it. And I'm did you just finish building it, dude? See, with a set like that, I would I would take a month. I would build one bag a day and let cuz for me the the most fun thing about Lego is actually building it. Yeah, it's dope to display. But this is my therapy, man. This is how I shut my brain off and just flow. But, oh man. I would love to build that. That's dope, dude. Thanks for sharing, Nick. I don't think you were sharing. I think you were just rubbing it in, bro. But, cool. <laughs> no, that's dope, dude. That's dope. The UCS Millennium Falcon. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be out for a while. I still got time to get it.
I was homeless once because of my own stupid choices. Yeah, yeah, dude, dude, trust me. Everyone has their own stories. Sometimes these kids get kicked out of home because they got in a fight at school. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, you, fuck, you lose your job and, you know, it's, I hate seeing young kids. I hate seeing young kids because sometimes their parents are drug addicts themselves. You know, a lot of people don't have a choice, but when you're in the streets, you have a choice to stick that needle in your arm, you know. The blame doesn't, the part of the blame goes to society, but not all of it. You got to take responsibility for your own actions. And be honest with you, a lot of homeless people love being homeless, dude. Shit, a lot of them probably make good money panhandling. Probably make more than me. Exactly, we have money to give to Ukraine and other countries, but we can take care of, yeah, dude, it will cost maybe $1 billion. And the, all homeless will be out of the street. $1 billion. And right now we're trying to pass a $95 billion bill. It makes no sense, man. That's why I don't even think about that. I tried to not... Politics is so sad, dude. Neither in Cali, they're actually handing out free fentanyl to the homeless. Why? Because they want them dead. It's easier for them to just die in the streets, pick them up, and cremate them than it is to deal with them. It's crazy, dude. They're actually handing out free fentanyl. Why do you think our borders are open, guys? How do you think this fentanyl is getting into our country? Helping out someone is always good, and we'll probably give them money, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, what do, what do you guys think about those videos of people doing good deeds on social media, but they're filming it for likes? Number one, it's like, dude, this person's doing a good thing and I'm glad that person got to eat. But in the second, but then what comes to mind is like, dude, you're, you're filming this. Where's the authenticity? You're doing it just because for the likes. So there's the double-edged sword for people who do that type of content. And it feels good. It feels good. But again, you go to the comments and it's like 50-50 split. Why did you have to film this? Why did you, you know? I wish people did that and not filmed it, you know? It's dope. Not dope. It's just, it's fucking weird, dude. In my experience, most but not all homeless people are choosing to be homeless. At any point, they could get it. Absolutely. Dude, I see people out here panhandling and they got... They look like they just got out of the shower. No stains on their clothes. And it's like, come on. They could get out and get a job or have a home, but they would rather live outside and do dope because it's easier, yep. Don't wanna help vets or the homeless, but we can send funding overseas on weapons, etc. It's military industrial complex, dude. Total BS, blows my mind. Places like California still vote blue, yep. I have paid for a hotel room for a homeless couple as they had a kid for a week and I ran into the dad a week later and he said the hotel room helped and he had a job interview later that Cody that's beautiful to hear brother awesome story dude thank you for sharing that man that's good you, you did a good deed man you did a good deed we should all aspire to or reach out to help someone you know to do good. Imagine if every American like thought about like how are they going to be a service to others and if everyone did that, dude, the world would be such a better place. If you're if if you're a believer in God, man, that's what he preaches, right? How am I a service? How can you be a service to others? My nephew has that set. Dude, that set is bitching. I have a millenni I have the smaller Millennium Falcon. I have the $160 one. I don't have... Yeah, it was $900 plus with shipping. Yeah. I hope you use your Lego points for that. Because that, that'll that give you some money so you can buy Lego. The Lego excavator I want. Oh, the excavator. Yeah, dude. Yep. Thousand. Oh, yeah, I know. That's a Technic build, though. I think that's a Technic one. No, bro, that set's been out for years, bro. And they just released that they're not going to retire it this year. 
They're not retiring that set this year. So I'm good. I'm good, bro. And plus, yeah, I'll be fine. My girlfriend and I look like six months to finish it. Oh, you girlfriend, you guys built it in six. That's dope. You see, you, you, you. Now you think of you, you break down $900 and you break down as many, however many hours you spent building it. And you think about those times with your girl, it pays for itself. I mean, you could take your girlfriend out to a date. You watch a movie, you go out on a date, you buy her some popcorn. That's what, a couple hundred bucks, 150 bucks, maybe a hundred bucks, depending on where you go eat. That shit lasted you six months, bro of pure pleasure of building Lego brick together. Bonding time. It's worth it, it's worth it. <laughs> That's how I justify my Lego purchases, by the way. <laughs> if I just do one bag here, that $150 set would, it's worth it. <laughs> That's how I think of it though. And I think that's a good way of putting it. Very cute, Nick. I, yeah, me too. <laughs> That Lego is badass. Hell yes. I've never did hard drugs when I was only weed. Good. Good. I just like to say it's diseases, but it's literally a choice, like you said, to be. Yep. Good old Bidenomics. <laughs> We're sending money to the Antichrist. I believe Vladimir Zelensky is just that. Yep. Me too. He's a plant. Personally, if you would do it just for likes, then why? not do it private and that only gratifies yourself that's the thing though man yeah i know cody agree cd the president of ukraine was <laughs> the government government yeah a good friend of mine who owns a tree service offers homeless people to come work for a day to make some money but they always say no as if they have more than a job yeah you can't help people who don't want to help themselves. You can't. Our homelesses that we deal with on the ambulance side here in Cali mostly refuse to go to shelters because they don't care for the rules, such as not using and no overnight guests. Yeah? Yep. Makes sense, Nick. Yeah, because there are rules in those shelters. You got to be in by a certain time. It's not open 24 hours, you know, and... People rather just be free. I mean, imagine being a homeless person, though. Imagine, imagine you don't got to pay bills. <laughs> I can see why, how some people can actually enjoy that lifestyle. They sleep on a beach, you know, camp out. I love camping. I was always taught to pay it forward. And if they don't do it for another, then that's on them. But at least you have a good heart and are trying to be the change you want to see in this world. Absolutely, Cody. Two weeks ago, I was able to find the space shuttle and the... You son of a bitch. Which space shuttle? Are you talking about... Okay, I'm assuming you got a telescope. And you can see the Hubble Space Telescope, right? Based on... I have an app that you can track everything, right? Space, ISS, and everything. But you said the space shuttle. You're probably referring to one of the the boosters up there. But that's dope that you were able to see the Hubble space. The Hubble, the Hubble telescope is not that far away from Earth. The new one, the James Webb, is like a million miles away from Earth. The space telescope, though, the Hubble. You can see it. It's dope. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> Snowboarder, I'm sorry, dude. It just clicked on me. Lego. Yes, I have that set. I have the space shuttle with Hubble. Yes. Okay. I thought you were saying that you were able to find. That's why I'm like, how do you find the space shuttle, bro? There's only boosters up there and shit. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, that's a dope set. That space shuttle set is dope, dude. Nick, they're exactly the same here in Washington State, but when I was homeless, all the shelters were packed by the time I got there. Right now, every homeless shelter is packed to the brim. There you go, Brandon. <laughs> Rather use my money on long-term investments such as Lego and hoard it and say I'm rich. 
because I don't have anything fun and <laughs> just get high off the fact that I have money. <laughs> we are live, dude, but I'm, I'm reading the, the comments very late. It's the Lego, yeah. I've never done Lego a day in my life, but I'm wanting to get into it. And top of that, I'm falling into depression again a little bit. Oh, Jaden, don't stop that. Stop that. Dude, Jaden, just go to your local Walmart. Get a nice little $20 set, bro. And just put on some headphones and just build, bro. Be, be no mind. But you gotta, just like we were talking to K9 earlier, bro. You, get, you are what you think about, brother. You got this, man. I agree, CD1. I can see how people would enjoy being homeless because part of me wishes I could let go of everything and just get every day and have nothing to worry about. No, I got, I get a snowboarder. <laughs> it's all good. What's our record here, man? There's only 16 of you guys on here this late. I think we're done. I, I think we're done. We're going to save the record for during a week where we can get a bunch of people on. But you guys, thank you for vibing with Live Vibe 77. I love you all. We almost, we tied our record low on Deal or No Deal, but three hours, 24 minutes is a long time. I love you all. Have a great weekend. I'm going to miss you. And hopefully Monday, hopefully Monday. I'll be on Monday. I know it's a holiday for a lot of you guys, but come vibe, stop by. Stop by for a little bit. It took me two days to build a Lego. Be Dude, that's such a dope set. Yeah. Actually, you built that pretty quick, dude. I would have stretched that to like four or five days. I think that's like a 2,000 piece set. Have a great weekend, brother. Have a great weekend, snowboarder. Thanks for vibing with us, man. Everyone, I love you all. I love you all, man. Have a great weekend, Jaden, K9, everyone that's going through some shit. Brighter days are ahead, man. Brighter days are ahead. And if you're sure of it, don't let it bring you down, man. Don't let it bring you down. The ride or die. You lost so much weight, my dog. How's it going, King? What's up, dude? I'm just signing off right now, dude. I'm just signing off. But um, thank you. Yeah, I, I lost like 30 pounds. Started keto nine months ago, 10 months ago, and still going strong, brother. Still going strong. As always, CD, love the live vibe and out. Man, I, I love you, Green. Have a great weekend, dude. Good night, live vibe fam. Ride or die. Hey, man, we're on Monday through Friday. It's 9 p.m. Eastern, dude. Come vibe with us. Pack a lip with us, dude. We're we're just on here for three and a half hours. Thank you for stopping by, man. But I, I hope to see you next week, dude. All right, guys. I love you all. I'll catch you Monday. Peace.